Bow down, son, man. That sun coming through the front window, my head. Yo, 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 yo. Let me know if you can hear me. Press fire signs in the chat if you can hear it, brother. Put some fire signs in the chat, y'all. Can y'all hear me loud and clear? Hey, what up? We gonna hop straight up into this one. I see Keith, shout out to A Alpha Villains. Let me do a quick roll call while we sitting here. <clears throat> Who we got in here? Let's see, shout out to Alpha Villains. Shout out to JB, shout out to Unique. Shout out to T.O.P. Shout out to R.P.C. My brother, good to see you. Shout out to Willie K. Isaiah. Tim Rocks. Viking. Sins World. That's going to be a good one, y'all. I'm telling you. So if you guys got some questions today, y'all going to have to hit that super chat because we're going to get into some next level game. I promise you that. You, so you're going to have to hit that. Cause we gonna be chopping up good game. Boom. Yeah, man. Let's get it. So, I'm your host, Ivy Kingdom. We not doing no intro music. We just cause this is some heavy game, and you guys get your pens and your papers ready, cause it's gonna be a clinic today. We're gonna be talking about using pimp game in dating and relationships. I know some people feel like, why, why would I do that? Why would I do such a thing? I don't want to be a pimp. I want to be a player. I want to be a, a, a husband. And that's why you have problems with your chicks, because you're not laying the right foundation down. But before we get into the game, Dr. B.O.A., just go ahead and just introduce yourself for the people who are probably in space who don't know you. And, uh, and then we'll just let's talk about the stuff that people do wrong first and right. then so we can correct their asses. So go on ahead, brother. Yo, man, you know who it is. It's your man, Dr. B.O.A., you know what I'm saying? Alpha's up, beta's down. You know, repping that alpha sphere, man. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody in the chat, man. Salute to the homie Fee for having me on the joint. I see some of my homies in the alpha sphere in the building, man. The homie Alpha Villains, I see you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we about to drop some on y'all heavy, man. And you know, you know, it just depends on which, which direction Fee want to go with it, man. But we ain't going to get too wild because, we, you know, we want to kind of lead this thing up a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah but yeah. but but we're going to drop it on y'all, man, and, uh, and get y'all the real, man. That's all. Cool, cool. So let me ask you, and then I can jump and, and, and back you up because we both do coaching. And when you when you do coaching, it's a whole nother level of the game. Some people just do videos and, and that's cool. But when you coach, you get to see the other side of how cats is really rocking. You know what I'm saying? Like you you, you think you you think you know how people are rocking when you see them on Instagram, but when you get them on the jack. It's a whole different ball game, baby. A whole different you know, game. What you got to say about that one? Man, you know, I, I just, what the craziest thing I found is that dudes just don't know their value, man. They always approach women from the perspective of, okay, I'm about to win a prize if I get this woman. And so when they get the woman, instead of putting the woman to work and making her prove her value on a daily basis, they prove that they deserve the prize on a daily basis. Here's the thing. If you buy the ticket that win the lottery, you ain't got to buy no more tickets to win that same lottery, bro. Even if you view her as a prize, once you get her, what do you do with it? When you win the lottery, what do you do? You make the money work for you. So whether she's a prize or not, you still got to make the woman put in work for you, man. And a lot of these guys, they just don't. I've had guys tell me, man, something wrong with you, man. You don't have a father in your life, man. You're going to make the woman do stuff and make the woman, you know, spend money and, and give up money and all that. I'm like, man, she make $350,000 a year. What I look like? Right. It, it, it's a trip. I, I, I agree with you. Cats don't understand their value. And I will say this. I, I don't want to go there, but I'm going to touch it. Just because your high value does not make you valuable. You know what I'm saying? That's the mindset. The mindset got to be there. It ain't just how much money you make, bro. It's plenty of guys making plenty of dough. And ain't got no, you know. <laughs> right. Right. And, and then on the reverse, uh, you know, on the other side of that, on the other end of the spectrum, there are plenty of guys who ain't got nothing 
that some attractive paid broad is taken care of. Mm -hmm. Literally, almost won't let him do nothing. Too scared he gonna get away. You know why? Because he didn't let money define him. Am I saying money is not a good thing? Nah, man, I ain't saying you that. You got to you got to tell me a whole lot of benefits for me to go back to being broke again. I'm gonna be honest with you about that. But when it boils down to it, the biggest tricks have the most money. So you can't you can't buy a woman a BMW if you ain't paid. Mm -hmm. So you know you, you your value, man. You have to wake up in the morning and when you get out the shower, man. Butt naked to look in the mirror, man. You had to see a valuable man right then. That's facts. It, it gotta be, it gotta be in you, not on you. It gotta really be in you. And I think that people not, people not, people not realizing who they are. They haven't, and you know, we talked about you. Let's unpack this. We talked about this the other day privately. Um, about about cats, and it's imperative, man. Dudes don't know how to be served. They don't know how to. They they, they 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 don't know how to. Like they think they think it's wrong. You know, you, you can have a woman open the door. No, let me do it for you. Like, no, you you we are kings, man. Yeah. We're kings. You gotta understand that. You know. Man, listen, bro. I ain't opened the door when I was out with a woman, man, in at least by eight years. Yeah. Like I just don't open doors, man. I'm like, listen. Here's the thing with me, and a lot of guys take this the wrong way. Boy, he talking about being a beta male provider. Well, see, let me tell you something. To be a beta male provider, first you got to be a beta male. So let's X that out. Right. When you pay the cost to be the boss in your life, I don't allow a woman to contribute little simple shit to me. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going out to eat, and I don't, okay, most times I go out to eat, man, I go out and spend, you know, $75, 800 on myself and enjoy myself by myself and just flirt with all the bros that's in there with their little beta male boyfriends. You know what I'm saying? May, may may end up linking up with a with, with my with my server if she's you know fine enough, young enough. But when I do decide I want to have a woman go with me, man, it's gonna be the most amazing night of her life. And for me, it's just fucking dinner. Right. If if you sitting really complaining about adding another forty dollars to your dinner bill when you got a woman in there, man, that's trying to get you to go in the bathroom so she can dome you out in the bathroom, bro, you, you got your priorities mixed up when it comes to these bras, man. You got to stop giving them value until they show you their value. That's facts. And another thing, oh God, another thing, here y'all, they're taking advantage. Another thing is, move. Okay, boom. Shout out for the super chat, let me see. From Fierce Soul, he says, patiently waiting on that mixtape doc. That's the motto. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. We got a bunch of things coming up. I don't know if you want to talk about it. We can get onto it later, but I know the mixtape is coming and something else is coming, and it's going to be all good. A few things lined up. Uh, but this is what I wanted to say. Men be feeling like you have to go through a drastic situation in order to make adjustments. You feel what I'm saying? Like you don't have to get shit on in order to get dang game tight. Like me, for example, I remember I dated a woman seriously and she had kids, right? And this was six years ago. I didn't do it again. I don't have to keep fucking up to hit rock bottom to say, you know what? This shit ain't working. Like I personally, I didn't like the way it made me feel. I can't, I'm, I'm dealing with this woman. I can't really discipline the kids really the way I want to. Then I got a whole nother dude who missing their family and shit. Cause when he see me, I'm a suave cat. They like, oh, okay. Let me see if I can peel. You know what I'm saying? Like I be telling guys, like when you deal with women with kids, a lot of times what was ha what's really happening is your woman is using you to stunt on the baby daddy. So why right. she taking all these pictures with you and shit and you smiling, you smiling and all of this. Oh yeah, this is my baby. She's just doing it to re-attract him. Right, right. You know? And you know, you know, my take on the whole single mother thing is, man, is I don't exclusively shun single mothers. Mm -hmm. But if a woman has a child, there's a new set of requirements for her. That's why I tell you guys all the time that with a lot of women with multiple degrees with their own businesses, because if a woman has a child, then she got to be banging man at least a quarter meal. I'm not dealing with a woman with a child who ain't banging at least a quarter meal. And guys may say, well, that's not blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something, man. It's, it's not hard. It's easy. It, I mean, it's hard to make a quarter meal if you get out of school 
with multiple degrees and go get a job working for somebody. But if you're playing the whole time, just create your own business, your own psych, your own psychiatric practice, you know, your own clinic. You know, I was, I was knocking down a chick, man, got a clinic way down in the country. I'm talking about, man, the only street in the in the town that got a paved road is the main street. Her clinic is on it. The courthouse is on it. The jailhouse is on it. The, uh, the, the hospital is on it. That main strip, every other road in the country is a dirt road, but she was the only game in town, man, and she was milking the insurance companies. Not in a bad way. It's just the fact that all those people with that Medicaid and all that, that Medicare and all that insurance and all that, man, she was the only game in town, man, for people that needed a quick fix and didn't want to go wait at the emergency room at the hospital. So you meet these type of chicks all the time. So me, I don't exclusively shun women with children. If a woman got a child, I see her at a daycare, man. If I'm passing by, man, I see her with a child in the back seat or at a gas station, she got a child in the back seat and she in a, a big body bins. Okay, I'm looking at her differently because she has other benefits. I'm not trying to wife the broad up. So you can't just exclusively eliminate women. You just have to create a different set of circumstances. Hey, man, I've dealt with some women who were heavier. They were cute in the face, as cute as a, 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 a cute as a 175, 160 pound brow can be, but they was getting paper. The pimp principles guide me first. So you can have all them pretty broke bras that ain't going to contribute nothing, don't know how to do nothing. She can't type. She can't count. She can't use a calculator. She can't iron. She can't cook. She can't drive. She can't do nothing, but she pretty. Right, right. I'm, I'm glad you touched on that real quick. Shout out to Alpha Villains for the super chat. Embracing the woman's servitude is a part of ruling class mentality. Let her show you and reward her submissiveness. Thank you for that, brother. And thank you for uh, the red lens. Shout out to you. He says, when they stunt, I punt. <laughs> That's straight into the point. Hey, look, and, and, and see, me and Dr. B.O.A. are older, considerably to like a lot of guys on YouTube. So a lot of guys give you game, but me and Dr. B.O.A. are more on the wisdom level, you know? So point is, like, I, I, I still will deal with women with kids. You can't really avoid it. But the key is, is the stepdaddy part. That's what we not doing. So, so, and cause we gotta, we gotta like unpack it. So you guys don't get it mixed. Hey man, well, I, I, I seen you was on a date and she looked like, yeah, man, I might've been on a date and she, I'm not doing the stepdaddy shit is what's not happening. A woman can have kids all she want. That ain't got nothing to do with me. You feel what I'm saying? Shout out to LDA in there. I see you, bro. Where'd you go? So yeah, it's it's about what you what you willing to deal with. But but the thing is, you got to know what you're willing to deal with before you start. A lot of times, you just you, you know what, Doctor Boa. This is how it go. Dudes base dating on attraction, bro. You feel me? They're attracted to this woman, highly attracted and infested. So what they try to do is they try to make her into something that she's not based on how she looks like, okay, I got the look part together. Now let me try to make the, no, you can't make her nothing, bro. She like 43 years old. What you gonna make her, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Make her realize that she's 43 years old and don't want to listen to no shit. Don't want to do what nobody tell her to do. That's how you gonna, that's all you gonna do, man. Make her realize that them 43 old, them 43 old joints don't stretch like they used to 20 years ago, man. That's it. My man Levon says, I see nothing wrong with a stepdad. Maybe you brothers need to mature some more. I'm just old school, new cat, something else. Well, guess what, bro? You have fun with that. Go ahead and That's do your thing, man. Have you know? fun, bro. Yeah. You want to stepdad? Then shit. Pat, where the, where the camera at? Good job, bro. You doing, yeah. a, you doing a good old job. You know, do your thing, man. But uh, but but using shaming language like you guys are immature because you don't want to take care of another man, kid. I mean, I see why you why you think that's a good idea because your mindset is the mindset. You know, of, okay, nice. you know? <laughs> well, you know, if if if, if men don't do something, you know, that's simping, then something's wrong with them. You got to mature into simping. All right, man, cool. Do your thing, brother. I'm not knocking you for it because I frankly don't care if you be a stepdad or not. But I'm just telling you to say that something's wrong with me and who there's more wrong with you being a stepdad than the wrong with me not being a stepdad. I can tell you that shit right now. Right. I think realistically, shout out to the stepdads. I don't think a stepdad trumps being a real dad, bro. Yeah. It, it, you cannot you cannot compare it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, yeah, that's what you want to do, Levon. You have yeah. fun, bro. But I want to take care, I want to take it, I want to take care of a kid without having to deal with some other dude, too. Yeah. 
Some yeah. dude just hitting my chick up when he want to because he miss her and stuff. And she hiding the text messages and all that. No, I just deal with a chick with no kids and then I ain't got to worry about none of it. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. You have a lot. You have a lot of guys out here who are okay with that. There's enough of them. I think it's an even balance. There's enough guys who are willing to be stepdads, but the rest of us aren't. So I don't even look at stepdads, man. I know guys who are stepdads. I don't look at them and say, man, you know what, man? You're a beta male simp mangina. Because, I mean, every man has to do what he sees fit in his life. But there are some things that a man shouldn't be willing to do, in my opinion. Right. And that's one of them. That's fact. Shout out to Danica for sliding through with the $50 super chat. Stopping in the show. Love to big bro. Return their support. Salute to you. I appreciate that. And shout out to LDA. Salute to Afi and Dr. BOA. It's the mob, baby. What's going on, LDA? Open the panel. No, we ain't opening no fucking panel. <laughs> did this, did, did, did this, did this ain't that kind of vibe. Y'all can't tell. This ain't a discussion that's open. This is open for us only. You know what I'm saying? T.O.P. Now, shout out to you, though. Yeah, but we're not opening in this up. We're trying to give y'all the boss game. Shout yeah. out to Mar is dope. Salute to the Kings. Much respect to Mar. Yeah, bro, I can't do it. But oh, but let me let me generalize, too. Me personally, because it's important, I don't have no kids. So that's a that's a major part of it, too. I'm not I don't want to go from single bachelor to dad by default for love. You know? Let me just try it. I love her. Let me just try to be a dad. Like, no, I want to be a dad first. Once I yeah. once I'm my own father to my own kids, then we'll start experimenting and shit, you know? And you know, man, I was just talking about this on the show the other day, man. You don't have to be a stepdad, man, to help fatherless to have to help fatherless boys. You know what I'm saying? We still right. I, when I was younger, man, they used to be like boys clubs and mentorship programs, man. Just mentor some boys, man. You ain't got to dive in, man. Try to be no cuz here's the thing. You can never be a father if you're a stepfather, not to those kids, you'll always be step. Because the bottom line is, it's something different, man, when the kid come from your loins, man. When they're your seed, there's something different. But you can be a big brother. You can be an uncle. You can be, you can just be the big homie. You can be whatever you need to be if your goal is to help young boys. But to say, you know, I don't see no wrong being a stepdad. Cool, man. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a last ditch effort, man. And I mean, yeah, I guess if you're older, I ain't got to that age yet, bro. And I hope when I get there, man, I don't have that mindset. <laughs> That's the thing. It's the mindset. A lot of guys have game or money, but the mindset is not correct. This got to be right first. You know, me and B.O. Wade have conversations about stuff in the future, in the past, and the common denominator is that we think alike. So you don't have to read certain books to learn what the hell is going on. You can make a change today. You can listen to this stream and you say, you know what? I'm going to boss up. Like, you know what, Dr. B.O.A., this is what I said to myself. And, 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 I, and, and it's funny. What up, Red Pill Thor? I see you, bro. You know, it's, it's funny because I got this idea from somebody else, right? But I was like, that's slick. I want to apply that. And this is what it was. What's the guy's name? Uh, uh, Blue Blue Da Vinci or whatever. Back it up, Tatiana. And then he, and then he said, um, he said that uh, something to where women were uh, getting tatted. Now, me, I've dealt with women who got my name tatted on my on their bodies multiple times. But it was from their own doing. I've never like required it though. But now, hey, you know what? If we if you dig me like that, go get branded, or if, or if we ain't talking no more. Cause I cause I cause because we all know how women are and how they change their mind. And that's not a guarantee, but it's it's a it's the gesture of it. You 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 want me to be committed with me, you want me to stop my life to do. Hit that tattoo shop and tell me and let me know you serious. Cause you laying in the bed with me giving me some fire dome ain't gonna do it. You know? You yeah. you me me pouncing on you and you saying I love you as yours. That's not gonna do it. I need some cooperation gesture first before we even go anywhere. Now, if if we just chilling, it don't matter. But if we if we talking the commitment thing, 
for it even to be considered. You got to drop that. And I got that from somebody else. I, I just seen it like, you know what? That's my new shit. So yeah. you can listen to this and be like, that's my new shit. You don't listen to this and just be like, oh, that was fire. And then go back to simping. Yeah, you know real I'm talk, saying? real talk. So, man, you know, what well, what I like to do, man, especially, man, when it comes to, like, you know, being in these relationships with these women, man, because, I'm, man, I'm not against relationships. I'm against legal marriage in this country, but I'm not against having a, a relationship that simulates that. I'm not against that at all. You know what I'm saying? It's probably not going to be one woman and not because I'm just this this whoremonger. It's just because, man, I've never met one woman who does the trick for me and I'm not going to suppress any type of desires or any type of need for any female energy that I have. Because here's the thing. You cannot have any woman, any women and be OK. But if you have one woman and she has some feminine shortcomings, you're suddenly going to have a desire to get those shortcomings because you're dealing with feminine energy that's lacking. You know what I'm saying? It increases your desire for the things you don't have when you got to deal with a woman who's not giving you those things. When you ain't got a woman, you ain't dealing with none of it anyway. And so, man, I'm not going to suppress those desires. So what I like to do, man, especially dealing with these chicks with paper, man, I do some like, man, I lot, I, you know, because women like to try to look into your phone when you buy them and shit, especially, you know, early on. So I'll log into one of my investment portfolios, man, and kind of turn the phone a little bit. Now, obviously, it try to be inconspicuous and turn it a little bit. So and I see her eyes cutting over there and I'll pull in the one man that, you know, and, and just show some numbers, man. And I'll be like, she be like, and I'll be like, man, man, these investments really taking off. One thing women want to know. Is things they don't know. So if she making a little money, she wants you to teach her about investments. So now is the time for me to start integrating myself into her accounts. Man, listen, bro. I have never, I have never had a woman in my life whose accounts, all her accounts, had my name on them. Credit card accounts, bank accounts, nigga, four hundred one k beneficiary, everything, bro. Because I don't enter into situations with women that, it, let's say, the marriage laws were absolutely beneficial to men. Mm -hmm. I don't deal with women who I wouldn't marry. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's why my numbers are low, but check my history. I, listen, my partners will tell you, I ain't never had a bunch of them, but boy, I always had some top-notch ones. I'm talking about top-notch. Desirable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the one we was talking about, that you, you, the little situation. Yeah. Shout out to AV again. Because AV a player, he get it. So we talking, y'all listening, but he sure. hears. For sure. That's why he's getting excited. Players have to pay attention to the coach, not the cheerleaders. That is facts. Thank you, Alpha Villains, for that. Because let me tell you something, because since we want to address, bro, I could teach two brothers, you two brothers, a thing or two. If you guys are our future, we're doing this is crazy. Let me tell you something, player. First off, one more time, you're going to get the dough. Second thing is, you can't teach me shit and i'm sure you can't teach dr bayo let me tell you something we are international influencers influencers authors coaches and players what what you gonna teach me you can't you gonna teach me how to do some shit i'm not interested in bro so drop a super chat or your ass gonna get blocked that's it here's the thing about this brother levon bennett <laughs> let me tell you what happens or levon <laughs> let me tell you, let, let me tell you what happens, man. And I was on my Ramil's channel, man, and there was a cat like this in the chat. I won't even say a name to give him no shine. But these guys have situations with women where they're completely dominated. Mm -hmm. And so whenever they're in the presence of men, they have to just do this overbearing exertion of I'm a man too. So there's something that always has to be said, and they gotta always try to play big dog or whatever, man. And you know, the thing is, man. Guys like that, man, you have to just sympathize with him, man, because, you know, just just to be saying the things he's saying, man, that's not even something that men say in a group in a room with a group of men. Now, who does that, man? Who who sits in with a, a groom of men, respected men and say, you know what? I'll teach all of you young punk something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it sound like our oldest of Martin, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's the cat on the boondocks? What's that? What's that cat on the boondocks? The black one that was like yeah, yeah, the old yeah. Uh, I came. Uh, I can't remember his name, man. Uh huh. Shout Uncle, out is, to is, is, is that Uncle, Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's Uncle Ruckus in here, man. So just yeah. just slide on him, man. Yeah. Shout out to D Flemis. It's good to see you in here, brother. Now all we need is SG three up in here. SJ three, the Gemini brother, and we all good. <laughs> that guy is funny, bro. Yeah, man. So, you know, 
you know, with, with, with guys like that, man, I just say, man, you know, I just give them a pass, man. Cause I know what it is. I've dealt with men like this in my life all throughout my life, man. Like I, I, I did a, I was talking about it on the show the other day, man. These guys are uber gangsters in the street. I'm talking about well-respected. We call them head bosses. They will show up and show out. Man, mm. old lady, treat them like a cream puff. And, you know, that's what it is. Now the internet makes it easy. You ain't got to go out and prove your manhood. You can just come on the internet and talk like you're a man. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I get it. You know, I get it, man. You may be able to teach me something, man. There's there's some things I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to, you know, climb a mountain. You know what I mean? <laughs> you teach me that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't put a motor in a car. You know, teach me something, bro. But when it, when you're talking about these broads and becoming the most alpha version of yourself, man, you need to shut up and be quiet and chat. Take notes, bro. Facts, bro. Look, Danica over here laughing at you, bro. That's what you get. <laughs> Shout out to NYC. That's some beta sip mangina. Man. Uh, you can say it. <laughs> I can't say it. Yeah, it's a beta male sip mangina shit, man. That's what it is, man. You know, and, and, and like the homie saying in the chat, I understand he old school, but times have changed, homie. Let's talk 50, about it. 50 years ago, your mindset was perfect, man. This 2021, homie. Maybe you ain't hip to the internet. Maybe you ain't hip to IG. Maybe you ain't hip to TikTok. Maybe you ain't hip to OnlyFans. Maybe you ain't hip to seeking arrangements. But boy, these bros out here ain't nothing to play with. Boy, you, I'm telling you, you the type man, one of these bros will do your dirt out here, man. And then you be over here talking about, man, can y'all help me get my masculinity back? <laughs> they only they only listen to you, bro, when they down. Yeah, man. You can tell cats all the game, no, thank you. Get them out. Because I already said, next chat was a super chat, not another comment. Moderators, boom, boom, boom. Nice to see you, bro. You were very intelligent with your lingo. Now you're out of here. You want to talk again? Make this shit a color situation. You got to drop a color. Quit fucking talking and shit, bro. It, it's, some, it's some real kings up in here talking, and you want to be the star of some shit. And I can tell you're not a star in your own life. Not yet. You ain't a star of your own life yet, bro. So there you go. Have fun with yourself. You know, <laughs> it, man. People, people gotta realize who they be talking to, man. Seriously. No, Do it gotta... seem like me or you need help with anything? We will help each other before you help us. You know, when when they come to guys, man, talking about the whole let's meet up thing, man. I'd be like, man. Man, your life got to be empty as hell, man. I ain't got time to meet up with a nigga I don't know for nothing. <laughs> we ain't about to make no money. We about to meet up and talk. <laughs> on, I ain't for them. I ain't gonna meet up with no bro just to talk, man. Right, on, bro. We gonna we gonna we gonna meet up. You gonna so you gonna book your flight. You know what? What you gonna say? Yeah, Afi, I don't like you, man. But which which site you use? You lose uh, Expedia or Priceline? Which one you go to so I can say, nigga, I don't care. You know, what the fuck you talking about? So we, so you gonna fly out here and then you gonna call? Yeah, I'm at uh I'm at the Oakland uh airport, bro. So where you want to meet downtown? Yeah, that's the perfect. I mean, that's the perfect example, man, of a lot of things I say, man, about the energy of a man. Like instead of humbling himself, he feels like because he's older. He has to be the teacher. And that's why, man, when I'm doing consultation with guys, man, I let them know when I pick up a gym from them because everybody's from a different walk of life. I don't know everything. Now, when it comes to dealing with these bras and applying the ism to the square world, I'm the OG expert at that. But that's just one facet of life. I talk to these guys, man, and they're in all types of things. So when I pick up a gym from them, I let them know because that's the confidence inspiring talk that we need to have amongst ourselves as men. So a man will always feel like he got to be the he, he got to be the, the student. You know what I'm saying? You could be the student and the teacher at the same time. So, you know, that's just one of those situations that, that show, man, like, you know, I've did consultation with a guy like that, man. They don't never get right, man. That's facts. RP Spark Daddy said, I miss seeing y'all two collab. We still collab. Y'all just don't see it. That's how come y'all be thinking y'all know everything. We collab this morning. <laughs> we collab yesterday. Yeah, y'all so just man. don't see it. Everything ain't for y'all. Sometimes we got to just do stuff the way we do it. And give yeah. it to y'all like this. Yeah. You know? But I dig it though, man. You know, I, I I understand, man. You know, he probably wanted to catch that watching the mob, man. So, you um, know, I can respect that, man. You know what I'm saying? We used to, we used to do some big things with the mob, man, the mob brethren. So I yeah. can dig that, man. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Viking being a says being a stepdad used to be a good thing when single mothers were rare, but it's not. Yeah, that's true, bro. I, I you you, you do, let me ask you this, Doctor B O A. Do you think it's the culture? 
or do you feel like it's because we're getting older that there's more of them? You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think women just don't appreciate shit no more, man. Like they feel like it's their right to have a stepdad. They feel like if you meet them, they be like, "Well, I want a man that love me and my children. He got to love my children like he love his own," which is the stupidest thing I ever said. How I'ma look at some little son of a gun I ain't never met in my life, and I'ma love them like they came from me, like I was in the room with you when you pushed them out. But they they have such a sense of entitlement because there are so many simp's who give them things without making them earn it. Because right. here's the thing: if you're a simp and you live at home with your mom. You probably feel like it makes you more of a man to go live with a woman. When in essence, it makes you more of a man to stay at home with your mom because at least you're being honest about the fact that you're living like a little boy. Now you go and live with this woman. And if you got to go live with the woman and she got children, you just another child, but you the oldest child. So you got to look out for your younger brothers and shit. That's all that situation is, man. And I think women just don't value what a man brings to the table anymore. So, you know, they don't listen. You know, they think they know everything. Society's told them that they know something about being a man now. So now you have them on Father's Day saying, I'm the father and the mother. No, you're the mother. There is no father. Let's not let's not play that game. So I think men just have to understand you stop doing things when a woman doesn't appreciate it. If you if you put gas in a woman's car and she approach you with some, well, you know, well, I need some gas in my car. And how you not going to put gas in my car? Oh, she forgot I was doing this as a courtesy. Now, I don't put no gas in no broad car. I'm just using that as an example because that's about the lowest end expenditure I can think of. But, man, if you're doing something for a woman and you know you're not being appreciated, you got to be man enough to stop doing it. Because let me tell you something. Let a woman think you don't deserve what she's giving you. All these married men can't get no loving from their wife at home. That's facts. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, man. Women don't be appreciating shit. It's the social... Bro, I, man, I, I don't do it no more, but there used to be a time where I would go on uh, certain chicks' pages, whether they BBW models or whatever, just to see the guy simping. I literally will go to a, 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 a IG model and dudes be like, man, where's your cash app? You going to cash app her for taking a cute picture? That's all it takes. Like she ain't even called you. Nothing. She ain't even said nothing. You want her cash pass. You want her cash app. Just, to, just, and then, and the thing is, bro. What, I, what was weird to me is they do it publicly, bro. Like at least simp in the DMs, you know. Yeah, at least man. do it in private. <laughs> it's like they'll do the simping. You beautiful. Then the next dude, you're super beautiful. Then the next dude. You're super beautiful and sexy. And then it's like it's a competition. And, 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 and you ever notice whenever you see this stuff, they don't ever reply to none of y'all. Y'all, Never. all y'all get is a heart or a thanks. Never. And I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I don't, man, listen, I don't come in or like no brow pee. Mm-hmm. Uh, at all, man. No, I don't come in to like no brow pee. But I get some nice DMs, boy. You know what I'm saying? I get some nice DMs, bro. I'm talking about nice DMs. And honestly, man, just be perfectly honest with you. You know, some of these chicks, man, be in relationships, man. But it don't really matter to them. Because here's the thing, man. When you reach a certain level of, you know, it, and you, it ain't even about the money. It's a, It depends on where you are. On IG, women want notoriety. They want validation. They want to be known. So the more known you are, then the more likely you are to, you know, have these DM approaches from women. You understand what I'm saying? And when it gets down to it, man, you just got to understand that we're in a day and age where you don't know who a woman is and you can only base it on what she contributes to the process of your progress. If she ain't contributing nothing, she's a nobody. Like I'm not even cutting a bra that don't contribute nothing to my life, bro, at all. You think, man, you think I'm going to get her the best loving she ever had in her life, man, because I'm because I'm savage with it. That what they want. You think I'm gonna treat it? You think I'm gonna treat her like 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 a like a street walker man and give her the, the best experience she ever had in her life, man? You, you think I'm gonna do I ain't, I ain't gonna get into the graphics, but you think I'm gonna do things to a man that she only fantasized about before, man? She ain't contributed nothing to my life. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I forgot. <clears throat> the simp say, Well, you getting off too. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, you know, for me, what I think. <clears throat> One of the one of the biggest defaults that guys don't understand they be doing, and you tell me what you think about this one. 
is the makeup sex. You make you 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 be rewarding bad behavior, bro. How a woman disrespects you and you reward her with a fire session and then be thinking it's cool. You just taught her that when she's disrespectful, she gets sex. She gets sex. Like how 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 was that going to make her conform to your principles? when she disrespects you and then you go have sex with her and then y'all go have a talk and it's over. Like, how does that work? Thank you, D. Flemings. Appreciate you, man. You, you know what, Fee? It's, it's a game for these guys. These guys don't understand you do this because it's a principle. If you have to put a woman on ice or you have to chastise a woman or punish her in some kind of way, then you have to understand she starts from that point. Once the punishment is over, she don't go back to, you know, level five. No, she back down at ground zero. She got to build her way back up. So what's the purpose in putting on ice if you let her come out of ice then take her on a trip? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't make no sense to me, man. Like, guys don't understand that women have minds like children. You can't tell it if you think about them from a perspective of what they've learned. So you take, a, you take her when she was, you know, 12 and you take her when she's 28. Yeah, she knows a lot more. She doesn't seem like a child, but her mind still functions like that little girl. She still lives in a fantasy world. That's why she can be 315 pounds you know, and, and think that she's beautiful enough to wear a two piece bikini on the beach and nobody should say anything because she lives in a fantasy world where her mind can convince her eyes that she sees shit that doesn't exist for real. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that super chat, my brother. That's another thing. <clears throat> Just a side note. A lot of guys, I know you don't get no chicks because you be hating on other guys, bro. Women don't like the hater shit. Women don't want to hear you talk about other dudes. When I hear dudes talking about other dudes, I be feeling like, what kind of chicks y'all got? Even if y'all had chicks, what kind of chick wants to listen to you talk about another dude? That ain't got shit to do with her. So we talk about receipts in this space. That's the main receipt that all that's all I need to see. Right. You know? If you want to get your question answered on air, man, you got to super chat it, bro. I see y'all got some good questions in that, man, but you got to super chat them. Yeah, because we, you know, because we just flowing and shit. And then and then you know how it go. Wait, I I, I can have some fire bars. He has some fire bars. We go ask the question and lose it. Yeah. That had happened so yeah. many times for me. I'd be like, sometimes I get a little pissed. Yeah, yeah, uh, Anil, you got to hit the super chat, bro. Especially asking about your girlfriend, toxics and stuff like that, bro. You have to listen to what we're saying. But, but, but you know, Fee, that's what, that's what the super chat is for, man. Like, I, I, I go to camera channels, man, and it can be 5,000 people in there. They are not answering a question unless it pops up on the super chat. They're not even paying attention to the other questions. That's how the platform is built. We're not wrong for doing that. That's what the platform is built for. That's what the super chat is for. For if you want your question to be answered or you want your comment to be read on li live during the show, then you super chat it and we're obligated to read it or answer your question if you super chat. Otherwise, any other question we answer, we're just doing you a favor. Right. Yeah, like some some stuff is like so good that it it, it stick out like, oh, shit, that's a good point. But just stuff that kind of don't really got to do with what we talking about, but kind of do camp this. No, nah, bro, because yeah. this is this is this is boss Alpha Kings, too. Matter of fact, matter of fact, <clears throat> when we finish with this stream and I'm a I'm a I'm a, you know, put your link in there. I'm gonna put the link to the first one because I because I, I don't even think we cammed up on that. huh? Nah, I man, don't even we, think we was we nah. was both wasn't camming up. Yeah, we weren't camming up then, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Camming up is not necessary. Mm -hmm. My top videos, the three, my top three best videos, I didn't cam up on them. My top three performing videos, mm -hmm. I didn't cam up on them. One of them is a two-hour live stream. I didn't cam up on it. So camming up is cool. Like, you know, what I would like to do, man, really is just cam up when I'm live and but now, man, but camming up so easy. You just cut the camera on and record, man. You ain't got to do all that extra editing and all that, man, trying to get images and all that, man. So mm -hmm. for me, you know, it, it's a little bit better, man. But I say this to these brothers, man. When And I practice what I preach. I, when I'm at a content creator page or on, on their live, I never come in without a super chat. Ever. I never come in on the creators on their live without a super chat. Always. And I never super chat less than 25. 
I mean, unless it's somebody that come through and they super chat me to nickel and dime me, man. If you're a creator, you come through, give me five dollars every time, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you ten. I ain't gonna do five, but you're gonna be on the low end with me, man. You can't come through if you come through and nickel and dime me, man, and your number's good, bro. Come on, man. Even if even if I come through ten times, you you fit it all each time. That five hundred, you come through one time, bro. Give me give me twenty five. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> give me yeah. something, bro. So I I do it, man. And here's what I do. And this this is a, a bit of game, man. For anybody with a channel, this off topic, man. But uh, you know, let me go ahead and spill them this. Go ahead. It's all your show, bro, brother. Come on, go go. Ahead. I allot a certain amount of my promotional budget to super chats. So mm-hmm. every month, I super chat a certain amount of money to the creators that I support. So those creators get used to my support. Their followers and subscribers get used to my support. And sometimes they're not even in this sector, but they get used to seeing me. And so that garners a respect around the platform for me as a creator, as a, as a creator who supports other creators. So I just do that. I allot a certain amount of my budget to that every month and I use it for Super Chats. I don't do nothing else with it but Super Chat or uh, Cash App. Mm-hmm. I, I, I do the same thing. I, there's only, let me see. There may be five people I consistently hit off. Oh, yeah. Now, it ain't a gravy train, of motherfuckers. This, this is a few. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying I'd be around here. Here is 25 for you and 25 for you now, bro. Uh-huh. The, the people I support, I support them regularly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So same thing you're saying. Yeah. Just like Danica, like she just she's happened to stay, but she slide through. But I support her. But I'd be supporting people. Well, for one, because I like them. And for two, because this is a grind. Y'all don't understand. I I promise you, if you, bro, if they only knew how much hard work this shit is behind the scenes, man. So it's like, this is a grind. It's a hustle, but it's more of a grind because you have to mentally be consistent. Do you know how hard it is to be mentally consistent when results are not guaranteed? That's hard stuff, bro. You, that that is hard stuff. So it's like the grind, like uh, you know, because because sometimes sometimes you'll see that like people want super chat, but then when you catch fire and what the what you say, then they'll hit you off. Like I just do it. It don't matter if what you say is good. What you do is good. That's how I look at it. You doing this thing multiple times a week on multiple channels, and you do Patreon. You doing Instagram now. And you do uploads. That's hard work. How do I know? Because I do the same shit. So it's a level of respect that you just have that's that you don't have to communicate. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people just do this shit every now and then. You know, if you are every now and then cat, you're going to get every now and then fucking shits. Yeah, man. You, unique uh, Unique 79 cash at you, man. Oh, shit. Thank you, Unique. Yeah, you? Yeah. Thank you. Just Unique. And, and Unique shit, that's... That, that's that's my guy. That's why I let him hop on my panels anytime he wants, because he come in. Him and Golden Child is the best moderators I have. Yeah. Golden yeah. Child and, and Unique. They come in. My shit be on deck before I start. And I right, appreciate right. that. And I appreciate you. I, I told you before. You already know. Yeah, that. yeah, for sure, man. For sure. For sure. And and he out and he out there in London and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I, I appreciate it. And it's like I'm telling you, like the guy who had all the shit to say. You don't have nobody out the country posting your links and donating to you, bro. But we do. <laughs> but, but but you know you know man you know even even beyond that man when even when you apply the ism when you when you apply pimp principle to the square world you apply in business too. If right. I'm new on the turf, I'm not finna go around trying to knock all these dude bras because somebody gonna be there kill me out there. There's a respect to it because here's the thing: this is these guys turf. I can have, I can do whatever I want to do. I, I can build my stable however I want to, but I got to garner these guys' respect or somebody going to put, or somebody going to put me in the dirt. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing coming on to somebody joint, man. There's a level of respect that has to take place, man. And if you don't understand that, then, you know, the, your, your maturity is being wasted. Your, all your years are being wasted, you know, mm-hmm. on immature mindsets. And if you haven't been anywhere and done anything, then you function like that. If you've been anywhere and done anything with real men, then you understand that that's how it goes. So the ism is just not about women, but let's get back into the topic, man, and get back on these brawls, though. <laughs> For sure. Just real quick, D. Fleming said, us Mars put in that work as well. Salute. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My Mars squad, man, be getting it in, man. Mm-hmm. Flims, SJ, you know what I'm saying? GC, <laughs> GC on my um, on my King Ray Ray channel, man. GC, he be in there on that one too, man, so. You know, when I really figured that out for real, bro, 
is when I modded for Steph, when he started going live, I was like, I'm tired, bro. This is a lot of shit. All these people zapping and you got zapped. Dude. I'm, I did. Yeah. Stop, nigga. My bad. Yeah. Bite him up. <laughs> shit. Yeah. I was in there. I'm like, man, I'm tired after this. All this yeah. shit coming in. So, so when, when I when I got to a certain point, man, you know what I'm saying? When my numbers got to a certain point, trolls start coming through heavy. So I just started making all my lives, man, members only, man. Because it's it's still a job to keep popping those links in, popping those links in, telling people, stop putting caps in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Super chat your questions, homie. And then every time somebody super chat, the mods thank them too before I get a chance to thank them live. So it's still working that, man. But it was just too many trolls coming through. I had a live one day, man. It was on King Ray Ray channel. Man, there was so many trolls coming through and I was watching the chat. Man, and Flint Flims was in there by himself, man. Listen, bro, for the first third, for the, about the first 15 minutes, man, he spent the whole time, man, kicking trolls out. I'm talking about all, almost every three seconds, man, he was kicking trolls. I was like, hold up, man. I said, then all my lives from now are going to be members only, man. I hate to do it, but I got to do it. Mm -hmm. And Nelly now, too. Shamani is lit for the super chat. He says, salute y'all. Really great show today. How do I grow my alpha energy? One, two, when do I give a female an honest to-do list and what kind of stuff should I be doing at 15? So you have her doing at 15. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, brother. And then you can have her doing at 15, but your fucking homework, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully, hopefully you in school too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, so if, if you're in school too, all you can have her doing at 15 is your homework, man. Maybe, you know, maybe coming through, you know, man, cooking you something sometime or you go to her career, man, and she, you know, maybe make you a sandwich or something, whatever she can cook. Ain't much you can have a 15 year old doing, man. Cause here's the thing. A lot of this stuff is for grown men. Like you, you can't apply a honey do list to, to a 15 year old cause you probably 16. Ain't no honey do list for her. There's a couple of things you can have her doing. Have her doing your homework. Have her, you know, doing whatever you can do as far as your process of progress. And right now, at that age, your only progress is school. Right. So everything you could do for her, you got to put her to work at that. You can't just create a honey do list of random things to do. It has to be something that benefits the process of your progress. And if it's not something you're working on every day, you're not trying to progress at it. You know what I'm saying? Anything you're trying to progress at, you're working on it every day. Otherwise, you just got a hobby. And don't waste your time or waste the effort of abroad on your hobbies, man. <coughs> let me. How let me, do you <coughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro? How do you grow your alpha energy? Soak up the energy and the, and the information from men who are giving it and apply it to your life. Mm. It, but it takes time. If you're 15, 16 year old, don't worry about it. You got years. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you young guys come to me, man. You're 15, 16 year old. Tell me you tired of listening to your mom. Well, guess what? Your ass got a few more years, but you're going to listen to her. Here's what you do. Manage your emotions. Take this time to stop caring about what your mom says. Then when you get out in the world, you won't care about what the brows say. Use your mom as your first practice tool in, in developing your ability to deal with women and their emotional volatility. And that, that's how you do it, man. Like I, every, well, I, everything I learned about women, I learned it from the peas around me. But to see it in practice, I got a lot of it from my mom and my aunts and my cousins and the women around me. I was like, so that's what that is. That's what they're doing. Oh, that's why my cousins got these two dudes. They about to fight over. But both of them give money, though. Right. I was like, hold up. That's when I realized, man, that the world, you know, in my world, man, they just one of me and a bunch of hoes. So, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's it, man. And uh, what else you got? Honey, do this. Uh, oh, we already covered that. You yeah. Go ahead, Fee. <clears throat> I would just say. How do you grow your alpha energy? You got to stay in alpha spaces, bro. Like this, like Dr. BOA's channel. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to be around it because when you're around it, it will eventually become you. You just can't just dip in, in and out of spaces when you're trying to, when you're trying to find solutions to something. Because that's what some cats do, right? They'll get on YouTube, how to get my ex back or whatever, how to attract women, and then they'll figure it out. And then... You won't see them again until they got another problem. So, get bro. I'm about to but 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 you're in the right space, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to, especially if you don't have a man in your life that's giving you this, man. What the internet has done now, a lot of guys use it for the wrong things. They use it to get laid, and they used it to trick, and they used it to do a whole bunch of crazy things. But what the internet has done has given you access to that man on the other side of the world who has the information that you need to know. 
I never come online and search for something that's not going to increase my knowledge. That's not going to increase my ability to perform some task that I'm either performing or planning to perform in my life. I don't search for random things because it's a waste of time and who knows how much time you have left. So that's what you have to do, man. You have to take the information and uh, like, like Kevin Samuel says, man, you just have to eat the meat and spit out the bones. Take what you can get from it, apply it to your life, and then keep it moving. That's what growth is about. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Misha. I see you, baby. And uh, who was Oh, shout out to Jones. What's going on? Jones, are you listening? Fuck the dog shit. I'm just holding these dogs because they scratching me this whole damn time. And I got to pick them up every now and then. Fuck that shit. Listen to what we saying, bro. This is the important part. You know, this is this is the mindset stuff. You know, just like, you know, my man 15, you I'm, I'm going to tell you, you are in good hands just because you 15 dropping super chats. That tell me a lot right there. A lot of guys, they, they won't do shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you 15 and you, you dropping off the shuckles. That means you serious about the game. That's that means you serious about the game, bro. And you willing to invest. So you make sure you make a woman invest. It doesn't have to be she ain't got to buy you Jordans and shit like that. But you cannot, you know, it's the simplest stuff. If you if you treat her, how do they say it again? It's, the, it's so simple. If you treat her like a celebrity, she will treat you like a fan. That's the most simple but effective analysis. It's true. When you treat yeah. her like a celebrity, she treats you like, but you don't have, she, it, it, but the it's, it's, thing is, she don't have no choice but to. It's not like, oh, yeah, well, you know, since he's treated like, you're, it, that's because of you. It's like dudes always want to blame the woman. Like cats will be like, "Yeah, bro, how come I, I, I double I, I, this girl? She ain't she ain't uh, hitting me back and all of that." Shout out to Golden Child. She's talking about you other. She ain't. Yeah, bro, but you ain't told me you 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 five time texter. You left that whole part out. How you want me to help you when you ain't telling us the whole skill? You can't. And that's another thing for cats that want advice. You can't. <laughs> I know you know this a voa too. You cannot try to be player when you need help. You feel me? It's like cats will need help, but they still try to be player about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, Dr. B.O.A., you know what I'm saying? You know, I usually, you know what I'm saying? I got rotation and like, you know, 10 and everything. You know what I'm saying? I got this one cashing me out. I got this one I'm hitting. But it's this one. It's always this one. Right. You guys right. all say the same stuff. Yeah. Real talk. Real talk. And here's the thing, man. Here's the goal. And. The OGs, man, the the the, the well-developed men in the chat, man, can they 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 can uh, uh, attest to this and vouch for this. You know when you become the most masculine version of yourself when you don't blame women for anything in your life. Now you hear a lot of men out here talking about, well, you don't want to hold women accountable. You don't want to hold women accountable. Hold them accountable for what? Hold them accountable for being who we know they are. We know who women are. Now, how are you going to say, I know female nature, but we got to hold them accountable? No, I'm going to hold them accountable if they don't exist in the realm. Well, girl, what's wrong with you? You ain't functioning like these other bras. But if you're doing what I expect you to do, what's that to hold accountable? Everything that happens in your life that you don't agree with or that's bad, it all boils down to a decision you made. The bra can be whoever she wants to be. But in the end, it's going to boil down to a decision that you made to either accept it not accept it, deal with the brow, not deal with the brow, cut the brow, not cut the brow, strap up with the brow, hit a raw dog, pay the brow, get paid by the brow. Everything is going to come down to a decision that you made. And you got to track your life back to that decision. And that's when you start to hold yourself accountable for allowing people to do things to you, as opposed to saying, well, I'm a grown man. I just got taken advantage of. Nah, bro. If you're a kid, you can get taken advantage of a grown man. Don't come to me with that bullshit, man. I don't want to hear that. Hey, Iceberg got it on point. Afi, I got a stable of 3,000 women who feed me grapes, but it's this one. <laughs> they, they try to stun it out first. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Waiting like, yeah. Okay, and, where's the, and, where's the, and where's the part at? What are we waiting on? Okay, here it is. The one. Okay, let's talk about the one, because you've been ranting for 10 minutes talking about the shit that you be doing usually. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the, okay, and then there's the one, right? Okay, let's talk now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. China was good. China White in the building. China was good, baby girl. I see you. And, and and most definitely shout out to Golden Child Day One. Been knowing that cat for multiple years now. That's right, cool. Right. Man. When, you, when you do this thing, you really get solid uh, relationships out of it, man. You just yeah, man. Just being what around people who who think the same and 
and just be on the same stuff and building rapport is good. And then just on the side stuff, when when you do this type of stuff, it gives you more masculine energy. And it, let's talk about that. I, I'm surprised we ain't even broke that up about the pimping. Let's talk about the alpha energy because I speak on energy always and you speak on energy. Energy attracts women. Yeah, we talk game and all of this stuff. Just your energy alone. though. let's talk about that one. Right, I'm going to put, right. put it on you real quick. I'm going to go get some water. I'm going to put it on you. Right, right? yeah, right. yeah. I, still, still, I still hear you. So, you know, the reality of the thing, man, about the alpha energy is you have to understand that who you are emanates from your internal being. So if you are a wicked man or you are a non-trustworthy man, I can give you a million dollars. You're just an untrustworthy millionaire. So you'll still be a scammer like you broke. Even broke is a mindset. You have to heal yourself as a man internally. And if I heal myself internally, you heal yourself internally. People who come around us, then they're in the midst of healing. So other men heal themselves internally. You can become whoever you want to become externally, but your internal demons will always find a way to hunt you, man. You're never going to be able to escape those demons until you face them head on. And we all have those demons. Man, I talk to men who have been molested when they were children by men and women. I talk to men who have gone through all types of things. I talk to men who saw their parents get killed right in front of them. I talk to men who, who you know, their, 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 their son was born and he died as soon as he was born while he was holding them in his hands. I talk to a bunch of guys about a bunch of things. And you have to understand, man, that we all have damage from our childhood, all have damage from the things we've seen. But when you get to manhood, man, it's time for you to shore up yourself as an internal being man and become a man before you become a rich man before you become a pimp man before you become a a, a, a player man before you become anything you have to understand brother that you got to heal yourself from the inside energy is who you are uh -huh. when you first walk into a room and nobody knows anything about you Facts. energy connection with women you make the energy connection with a woman that's about you it never goes bad never goes bad so I don't have these problems with women where the woman took me down through there because if I'm dealing with a hoe and she got whole energy, I know who I'm dealing with. Boom. You understand? If I'm dealing with a woman who's not that, I can tell she's not that. And, you know, here's the thing. Telltale sign. A woman who's not about that is never going to be comfortable mm -hmm. with sending you nude pictures. A real quality woman is just, even if she, even if she does it, you ain't going to enjoy it because it ain't going to be of the freaky variation like you like. You know, she may send you something with her legs closed or, you know, just some. She'll do it just to show you her loyalty and that she's willing to do it. But you can tell by the particular nuances of a woman's energy when she does things, what kind of woman she is. Am I saying it's good or bad? No, I'm saying it's true. I like hoes, too. All my girls ain't got to be good, man. Hey, man, I like a, I like a, I like a good freak, man. That's gonna, you know, do whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes I feel like I kill it. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's real talk, man. Real, real talk. Shout, out, shout out to Golden Child for that super chat. Look, the thing is so simple. Like, how come some people don't understand the concept of energy, but when they deal with women, you feel the woman's energy. When you, when you, when, most of the time, when you guys, the ones that we were talking about earlier, you know what, you know what the common denominator they, is submissive energy, bro. Am I lying? That's it. Oh, oh, yeah. She, she, man, she be, uh, cooking and she be, uh, liking all my stories. And like, it's just, it's just submissive, bro. So if that energy attracts you, then what makes you think being alpha, being manly, want to track women you know what i'm saying mr right. t wasn't no super good looking guy but he had that alpha energy and he had that i kick your fucking ass energy too <laughs> you know what i'm saying right. and women like that shit yeah that's real man you know here's the thing man women are simple no matter how society has made them or the internet has made them they value provision and protection over everything even women who have money instinctively they value provision and protection so they think they want a man with money to match their money no they have a primal instinct to feel comfortable with a man's ability to provide and protect 
So I tell men all the time, as you build yourself to the most alpha version of yourself, and that starts to starts to include your financial status, you have to deal with women from position of power. There's no other position to deal with women from than a position of power. If you're in the company of a woman and she doesn't respect your power, you ain't got no power with that woman and you might as well cut her loose. Some now don't get me wrong. Some women are just ignorant. All of them ain't going, you know, not all of them are just going, hey, he's alpha. Let me submit. No, some of them have so much negativity in their spirit, man, and their energy is so negative that they'll fight it with their lives. They rather die than submit. Some of them are like that. But ask yourself, where are you to meet that kind of woman? Mm -hmm. I don't meet those women anymore. All the women I met like that, man, when I was in the hood, I don't meet women like that anymore. Yeah. Shout out to JW. For the super chat, he said, now this is kicking fire game, fire lies. For the, I'm glad y'all appreciate it. If y'all appreciate this live and y'all and this resonated with y'all, put some fire signs in the chat and let's get the likes to 100. I don't know what they was, but I think I seen somebody say five more. So let's get the five more. Y'all sitting right here, just tap the fucking shit. Just tap it. How I'm tapping this? Right. Just just tap it. That's all you got to do. Right. You know? So it's the it's it's energy, man. That that'll draw you in. Just like for instance. So I interacted with a chick recently, right? And for me, it don't really matter how she look and stuff like that, bro. If she ain't, if she hard headed, so it's like, so this is our first interaction. Our first interaction was me telling her something and then her giving me a counter. You already out. But you gone. You it's already over. out. It gone. don't matter. It's not, oh, well, uh, let me try to turn it around because I still want to have sex. No, you already out. If I tell you some shit, then that's it. Don't yeah. I don't need a fucking counter offer. We not selling fucking cars and shit around this bitch. Yeah. If For I sure. tell you For some sure. shit, if I say, baby, can you go give me some Doritos? Don't come back with Fritos. And that may seem simple, but it's not because you have to make a woman key in to the simplest things in order to be able to trust her to key into the major things. If I say that conversation is over, you say another word about it, ice. I just told you that conversation is over, which means I don't want to talk about it anymore. And if you bring it up again, that means you're trying to make me talk about something I don't want to talk about, shawty. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Come on now. Now you done got yourself in trouble. And you know what happened when, you know what happened when she get in trouble? She realizes that my presence in her life is one of the most amazing things. And now she got to spend a few days, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. If she, if, if I'm really in a good mood, mm -hmm. trying to figure out if she's ruined her life. And this is real talk. It sound cocky. It sound facetious. It's both, but it's real. One thing you can never accuse me of is telling lies about my life. Am I narcissistic? I mean, by their definition, I may be, am I cocky? Perhaps, you know, am I, am I inconsiderate? Oh yeah. I'm quite a bit of that. Who cares? I'm me. That's what building yourself to the most alpha version of yourself is. You have to be you. My life made me this way. Your life made you that way. The one thing we both got to be is who the hell we are. Facts. That's a that's a major fire gem, guys. You have to do what makes you happy. Everybody, like I like I I learned that from writing my book, my first book, like nobody's everybody's never gonna like i fucked up nobody that's not the right word every damn i fucked up everybody's not gonna it ain't, it's it's coming in my head but it ain't coming out when i say it everybody's not gonna like what you like every, everybody's not gonna like what you do so you try to like make people and satisfy them once you i you know i learned that from doing youtube too like Cats will say you the fire shit, you the go, you all this stuff, and you make one video they don't like, it'll be over. Fuck the two, three years they've been listening to you and all of this shit. You do you do one thing that they don't approve of, they'll they'll just go on and it's like, damn, like, you know? <laughs> Man, listen, you know how I handle that, bro? And it's real talk. And I make content for my day ones. Mm -hmm. I make content for my day ones. Yeah. After a while, you've been with me long enough, you become a day two. Then you become a day three. And before you know it, I got seven days. So I make contents for my homie from week one. Then I got week two. By the time I get to week four, I make content for my homies from month one. You understand? I make content for the people that I see supporting me on a regular basis. If you come through and you like it, cool. If you stay, 
cool. Let's build that relationship, add you to the family. Otherwise, I do not create content that my people who support me didn't subscribe to my channel to see, period. It don't matter what's out there. I get some great popular topics sometime. I ain't going to touch because my people didn't subscribe for that. The same way they support me, I owe them to give them what they support me for. And mm -hmm. everybody else, just true, true to be honest with you, somebody been rolling me from day one, they just matter more than somebody who just jumped on. That's Period. Nice. It just matter <clears throat> more. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't hide that. You know what I'm saying? Like I go through the comments, I go through the comments, man. And I, the guys who who, especially my members, like I, I take days out of my week and just go through, filter out my comments to member comments to, to members of my channel and make sure I respond to all their comments. The only channels I the only comments I hit the hard on is member comments. Cause I ain't finna go down there, man. I don't love all them goddamn comments. So I'm not gonna sit there and put no heart on all of them. You know what I'm saying? So, but my members, man, those are like, I, mean, I remember when you first told me that. You was like, yeah. man, for you know how to y'all look at this shit. For you like they got the like and the love. I don't love them. Yeah, fucking yeah, that's, yeah like that shit them. was real, man. Like, <laughs> bro, I don't want to be putting no heart on everything and shit, man. Like I love it. Come on, man. You know, I, I mean, I like all the comments or negative comments, any comment. I like all the comments because you took time to come in on my on my video. So mm -hmm. I can like them all, but I'm not going to read all them comments, man. 200, 300, 400 comments, man, to see which ones I love. So I just I just go to the side, pull my members out. Bam. All my members. I love all my members coming, man, because I love their support. You know what I'm saying? I love my members for their support. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to. They show me love, man. I got to show them love back. And so I do that, man. You know, and every little thing counts. Back to these bras. Every little thing counts with these bras, man. Every little thing. If you let a woman get away, if you give her an inch, she's going to take two inches instantly. She's never going to settle for one inch. You give her two inches, she's going to take three. You give her three inches, she's going to take a mile. You give a driver like she want to fly the space shuttle. You can't ever allow a woman to settle down into a role in your life that doesn't require her to work hard as hell. Because a woman only values two things, what she works for and what she pays for. Preach. Shout out to RSB. Shameless plug. I'm gonna able. I'm gonna be able to interview BOA soon. Just wait. I, I can't even imagine that vibe. I would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red, 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 red is a cool dude, man. He is definitely different, man. You know what I'm saying? But he got his own thing, man. Like there ain't nobody on YouTube like Red. You know what I'm saying? Right, He's right. a different cat, man. And and that's just really just what you have to be, man. You know, truth be told, that's my whole reason for creating the Alpha Sphere. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I, I wanted to, you know, it, it, it made sense. OK, it fits into my brand, but that also allowed me to separate me from everyone else. You right. know, while still being a part of the, the overall coalition, but separate my 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 core group away from everything else. Facts. And that's why I started my kingdom. See, it's similar mindsets. We just call in a different shit, but that's how how we feel about ourselves. Generally, <clears throat> let me let me touch on what you just said. I hit you on IG. I, I hit you on IG, bro. Thank you. Let me let me let me let me uh, touch on what you just said about giving a woman an inch and taking them out. If y'all put in the chat story time, I'm going to give you a quick story time. I'm going to give you a quick one. I was matter of fact, my man Jones, he has sex with her. You see, give me a fire sign. Give me a fire sign, Jones, in the chat. If you remember that sex I gave you, I just gave her to the girl. You remember that? Give me a fire sign. I said, you want to have sex with her here? It's real receipts, baby. Put a fire sign. So look, I remember this chick that I dealt with. I dealt with her maybe two years, right? Never spend no money. I'm talking nothing, no debt, nothing, right? After two years, one particular time, she ordered a pizza, and when the pizza came, I, she was like, oh, I can't find it. I'm, I'm waiting on the pizza. She didn't order the, she didn't order the uh, round table special with bacon on it, combination with bacon. I'm like, shit, I'm hungry in the motherfucker. I can't wait. And so they at the door, I'm smelling this shit. She can't find her wallet. So my ass, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, B-O-A, I'm thinking, oh, it's just dub. Pay for the pizza. Guess what happened after that? Two years, no money spent. I paid for a fucking pizza. Now she asking for shit, bro. 700 that's that's wrong man 365 times two 730 days no dough i'm thinking i'm chilling like oh okay well it's just 20 bucks and i spent that fucking money on that pizza oh she wanted she wanted she wanted me to take her. just it, it happened like that i was even I, I i even had a hard problem like 
because two years is a long fucking time. So I'm she just just me paying for the pizza made her try to flip the whole shit on me, bro. Man, goddamn, AJ gave me flashbacks, man. <laughs> Give us one, man. <laughs> Man, my guys already know about this one, man. Man, I, I, I told them that I gave a bra $50 for a pair of shoes, man. But I think I told myself $50. So I wouldn't feel so bad, man, because it actually gave a 200 man. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. That shit was like, man, about 15 years ago, man. I had nightmares about that shit now, man. <laughs> I ain't lying, bro, because, I mean, because, because you know, besides, you know, besides dropping it off in her drawers, man, she hadn't done anything to, I don't know, bro. I, it just wasn't like that, man. I don't know why I did that, man. Mm -hmm. I instantly regretted it, man. I almost started to hit her. I almost started just snatching back from her, man. But it was just a couple hundred dollars, man. You know what I'm saying? And I was riding too clean, man, and, and looking too mean, man, to trip by it. So it wasn't the money because a couple hundred dollars ain't, ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Hell, man, it, I, I got a I got a vehicle, man. I ride in that town, in man, got a hundred twenty dollar tank on it. So you know, two hundred dollars can't it can't I can't even get two tanks of gas out of that right now. But right. it was the principle that I felt like a trick, man. Mm -hmm. And I ain't got over it, man. Like I can't even say, man, I never been a trick, cause I tricked that time, bro. I I can't convince myself I didn't, man. I'm scarred, man. I'm scarred by that, man. So a woman got to do a whole lot of shit, man, to get money out of me, man. Facts. Shout out to Misha for the twenty dollar super chat. Thank you, baby. You know what's the most simping thing that I ever did? And and, and you know other people had their own definitions of it, but this is what I feel like. Me, because because I was always a player and I always had game. But the ego shit, I had to work on that. You know what I'm saying? My ego was in check now, but it wasn't yeah. always that. And I remember <laughs> fucking with this chick, bro. And y'all, y'all can roast me all y'all want. So you, you niggas, go ahead and make videos about me and say Avi's a simp. Fuck you, whatever. Oh, popping up at her job because she, because I, because I was pissed. Like we get into arguments and shit, and then she don't want to answer my calls. So my mindset was like, no, bitch, you go, you gonna listen to what the fuck I got to say. I don't give a fuck work or no work. Now, in <laughs> so I, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you know man. how you you know how you think all the sauce shit afterwards and shit? So you phone and then, then you man, I forgot to bring up this part, man. Fuck that. Then you when you call them, they don't answer. So I'm like, fuck, oh, this bitch gonna ignore me. All right, oh, I'm I'm, I'm popping up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, hey, that's a, that is a real one, white devil. Boy. I always say he popped up, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah, like fuck that. You gonna listen to me? I'm embarrassed your ass. Like you ain't gonna just because 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 I, I would never do no shit like that now. But the way I looked at it, because I tell you my mindset. My mindset is I'm all about principle. So me thinking she was me th me just imagine her being cute with the phone, like oh this nigga again uh, forward. So me just imagining her being like, <laughs> oh, like, oh, okay, let's see, let's see if it's funny when I pop my ass up and make you look fucking stupid. So that's what I was thinking, <laughs> and I was hot, baby. Just driving like, ooh, I'm coming up with more creative shit, more creative roast, more fucking points I want to make and shit. Never do that shit, guys. It's, you don't. Whew, just and this is the pimp mindset too is. <laughs> You, it doesn't, it's just, okay, let me just put it like this. It's best not to argue with women because dudes be feeling like if they got the good enough shit to say that the woman going, you're going to teach her a lesson. You feel me? Like you can't teach her a lesson. I'm going to sit you down. Let me tell you why you messed up. You did this wrong. You did this wrong. Nah, bro. Like she ain't listening to you, bro. Cause you finna give her makeup sex anyway. Right, right, right. And here's the thing, man. You can't win an argument with a woman. That's why so many arguments turn into a man putting hands on a woman. You can't beat her at running her mouth. Like she's an expert at running her mouth. You know what I'm saying? So that's why when women around me, they got to shut up. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, and not because here's the thing, man. Perfect example. You know, AMC stock, man. You know, the, the movie theater, AMC mm -hmm. just popped off like a week ago. Young chick told me, man, I think you should invest in AMC. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even know. I ain't even, I, ain't, I, I ain't even never looked at AMC. Yeah. So I looked at it, man. I think it was around eighteen dollars, man. When I looked at it, man, and uh, I took a chance on it, man. I didn't, I didn't put a lot of, I, I didn't get a, as much as I should have if I had really, really been, oh yeah, let me do this. But man, it popped off, man. Let, uh, yesterday, man, AMC was up at sixty. Mm -hmm. So from eighteen to sixty, man, it popped off. 
and from what's going on, man. And but there's some things going on behind the scene that had me kind of paranoid, which why I didn't jump in it hard. And now, you know, you just got to see how it pops. You know what I'm saying? If it's gone, my my hope is that it tumbles off so I can get out before it makes a full tumble if I need to. But my fear is that it's gonna drop off as fast as it popped up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it, it was like within a session, man. It it opened and then it just shot up. I was like, what the hell just happened? So you know, so I, it's not that I don't respect what women are saying, but they got they can only talk when I want them to talk. Like you can't talk when I'm talking. And if I if if we if we're not having a conversation about something that I'm discussing with you, then I don't want to hear you talk. Just sit here and be quiet. Go do something. Put some headphones on. You know, put your beats on. Go go read a book. I mean, go do something. You know, because the bottom line is, man, the more time you spend talking to women, man, the more feminine ideas, man, you start to have across your mind. Facts, bro. You cannot. Yeah, you can't talk. You can't talk sense to him. <clears throat> China White said, "Good live stream. I'll catch the playback. Good to see you, China White." That's what. What? what let me ask you, Doctor Bay. For you, for you, I, I don't even know my answers. That's why I'm asking you first. I'm gonna think about it. When did you kind of realize that the woman's words were not accurate to their to their actions? Man, I don't think there's ever a time when I didn't know that women tell lies. Yeah. Like, e even as a kid, man, I just used to see like women used to tell lies, man. Like they just lied for no reason. Like, because mm -hmm. you know, when you're a kid, people don't really think you're paying attention until you're like nine or 10. But right. by nine or 10, you done soaked up four or five years of game on them already. Mm -hmm. And so I just realized, man, that women would lie to men. They would lie to each other. They would lie to everything, man. And so by the time I was like seven or eight, man, I was like, man, I just don't believe in that nobody say, man. I used to question my mom. Mom, for real. <laughs> mom, yeah. for real. That what, that what he said for real, mom. Mom, I don't know, mom. That boy ain't got a lot of you. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, okay. You are lying. I mean, but, you, but, 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 but <laughs> you, you lied to Uncle Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to Uncle Jesse though two times So that's what I'm thinking in my mind So I was like I just don't I, I, I realized I didn't want to have the time To decipher their lies So really at about at around 12 I just said man I'm, I'm just never going to believe what women say Now I hadn't developed the mindset That they got to show me I just didn't believe nothing they said By the time I was like 17 I was like okay she got to show me I had a chick man who used to want me to come to a crib man She got out of school early She was a senior I was a junior And so she would get out of school early And she wanted me to come And so I said, man, that's a long way for me to come, man. And, and you know, and I ain't had no car at that point. I ain't get a car. I ain't get a car till I bought my first car myself. But uh, my homie had a car, an orange Volkswagen Beetle, man. And so I used to drive that joint over there. And I used to tell her, I mean, like, man, I used to bring like my my, my practice gear, man. Like, oh, if I had some clothes, man, that I had water practice, I used to know I'd go into her career, man. I'd take them over there, man, make her wash my clothes, man. And she had to cook every time I was over there, man. And that wasn't nothing. That seemed like nothing to a grown man. But for me, I just felt like what she was offering me wasn't enough I like, i'm not just not finna go there that far for no sex it gotta mm -hmm. be something else because i got to pass by a couple of bras that i can have sex with to get to your crib yeah and you know for me i just realized man that then i said okay well all you gotta do is put in a request and so when guys don't make women show actions you just missing an opportunity because you give her action to show if she really into you she gonna show that action mm -hmm. <clears throat> i think for me i think i was about 11 and I would hear females tell stories that I was present off. And at first I'd be irritated, like, what the fuck are you talking about? That ain't what happened. And then I realized a pattern like, oh, she don't do that. They do that. Cause I because I'd be there. Like, so and then it made me think, I can't listen to what they say. Cause if I can be, you know, say I got a chick, this this is a chick, my water bottle. So me and her. And then we're talking about what my dogs is doing and shit. And one of my partners come over and she be like, oh, the dogs did a backflip. No, the fuck he, no, the fuck they didn't do a backflip. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when I start seeing, oh, it's not just this particular one or that particular one, it's them. And the cold part about it is, it's not necessarily that they're lying, but their perception of shit is different than ours. Fantasy world. Mm -hmm. Fantasy world. They can create whatever the fuck they want to see. They can create whatever they want to see. And so a lot of guys get caught up. And sometimes, man, it'd be mental issues that these women have, man, where they be so scarred from an event in their past, man, where even if a woman is intimate with you, 
there's something about it that she sees as, you know, too aggressive or or it reminded her of something that happened to her when he was a child. man. so it, it, when it comes to screening women, you know, mm. what, what, what when guys say you got to vet her, how do you vet? What are you screening? First right. thing you got to screen for is fucking mental issues. You know what I'm saying? Bro, once I find out that a woman has been molested in her past, bro, I'm not dealing with her. I, I'm, I'm not going down that road because there's an energy on that woman, man, that's she's never going to get rid of that. That's a lifelong mental issue. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> for me, man, I just know that a woman is not going to be as receptive when she already has these blocks on from, you know, just from being scarred. You, you just opened up a can of whoop ass on accident right there. Let me <laughs> let me say this. Like, I remember I used to have this one and I used to just like leave her, leave her different places and stuff. Just start start arguments so I could have reason to leave her at restaurants and shit like that. And um <laughs> Dude, nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo. You had to visualize that one for a minute. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, I was like, yo, that's that's crazy, man. That's nuts, you know man. But be talking. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, I'll leave your you know what I'm saying? I couldn't wait though. Uh, I'm, I'm eating dinner and shit. Oh, yeah, this filet mignon is good. Wait till this bitch try me. I'm gonna get her ass. Oh, yeah, this is better again. Oh, yeah, this girl don't go on his book. Oh, what? What you say? <laughs> I'm ready. I didn't already set it up. I'm waiting. And the thing is, it's like uh, some women like that type of shit, bro, because she would like Uber it back to my house. And then I would be confused. Like, I like want you to be fired. If you're doing the opposite of what I want. Yeah. I want when I, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Oh, let me leave her so she can chase me. That's not what I'm thinking. That's what's happening, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but here's the thing, bro. And, and what you learn and what I learned through experiences like that is that you can only do the action and do your next move based on the woman's response to it. And you can never predict the woman's response until you know that woman. Mm -hmm. Once you know her, that's why you got to you got to really pay attention to a woman's the, the way she carries herself, the way she talks, the way she enunciates, the way she pronounces words, man, the way the way her eyes move when she's talking, man. I don't talk to women when I first meet a man. I just observe their ass because I know what crazy look like. I know what low self-esteem look like. I know what needy as hell and clingy ain't going to be showing up at my crib unannounced look like. And I avoid all of those tendencies because I've been an observer of women all my life. Not just my women, but when I see a man interacting with a woman, I observe that woman. I observe that interaction. And then I observe the type of man that comes to his crib when he's going to work. And I was like, okay, those are to totally different types of men. So obviously, if that man is coming over, the other man is, is he, like, he taking care of everything. This man is just coming over to drop it off in the drawers. And I start to realize, man, that whenever I saw that, it was always the same type of dude coming over, drop it off in the drawer. It was never a hardcore masculine man with a woman. Then when he go to work, a beta male sent mangina come over. It was never that. It was always the beta male sent mangina. And then the man come over, and, you know, he walked, the woman come out, meet him at the car, man. You know what I'm saying? He walking out there in public, man, in this man neighborhood. He's smacking on the ass that they walk in the crib like that's his old lady in his crib. And I said, man, you know what, bro? There is an energy but I was always taught, always look deeper than just blaming the woman. And that's when I started to dissect women's mind. I was like, they're just a certain type of men that turn women on. Yeah. And it's not necessarily a thug. It's just a man who carries himself with a with a with an aura of masculine confidence. Women uh -huh. can't tell if it's fake or real. We can, but they can't. <laughs> Nearly nail. That's see, that's that's my day run right there. He said, I remember Avi saying having an argument on the highway. That used to be my number, that used to be my go-to. We can get out on the side of the freeway. I used to love it. Just, oh, you want to get out? Just be wait. I'm telling you, what is it? 2021. If you are a woman and you dealt with me from 2019 up and in, this is the easy version of me. This is easy fee. If if if, if what I do, you have problems, you wouldn't want to see me in 2010 and shit. Like this is this is I'm on easy mode because I'm so on my purpose that shit don't. This is easy mode version of me, bro. And make sure y'all hit Dr. Boa's Cash App because he didn't came and shot game. With his brother, y'all make sure y'all hit that cash app, man. Make sure y'all hit the cash app. I want to ask you this. I'm gonna leave it up. Matter of fact, I want to. What What would you see? Well, it's a two part question for you, Doctor Boa. All right. About it's about the pre qualification, right? So, so and then after I say this, you probably can probably feel the vibe. So, one thing is this, and this is about having the ego in check. Sometimes, and I know, of course, you deal with broads. You have. 
sometimes you have you dealt with women and they're like super cooperative already and you're like damn i ain't even kind of you know what i'm saying like some women are just like that some women you know what it is because some women looking for a daddy through a boyfriend so when they see somebody they like and, you, and you're wondering damn all I, I all i did was text this girl uh good morning and she brought me lunch i'm pimping no you're not pimping she desperate and she and she looking for a daddy through you and and it seemed cool like oh yeah you know she doing all of this and some women that's just how they are like some women they'll buy you some jordans it ain't because your game tight that's how she show her love just like some women if you don't go upside the head or be uh, somewhat aggressive they'll literally they won't they'll think you don't love them they'll think that like you can treat her good and they'll be like well he don't love me because he ain't checking me you know what i'm saying so what do you feel about like to to, to for fellas to pre-qualify women in their life like what should they look for or not look for just man, off I'm the a, rent though yeah I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you man i'm cocky as hell so i have that expectation from a woman not necessarily bringing me lunch but just understanding and and realizing that she's in the presence she don't even have to realize it my energy is going to dominate her and it starts sometimes it starts off man where she might be a little mouthy but I don't have to cut up on her. Here's one thing. Here's what lets a woman know that she's in the presence of a masculine man. And whether they think they will or not, when she's in the presence of a masculine man, she's going to tone down that extra shit. Fact. So I may say something to her. No man has ever talked to her like I do because I'm brash and I'm blunt. But I'm not, oh, rah, rah, rah. I'm just brash and I'm blunt. I say what I want. I say what I mean. And I expect you to respond expeditiously. So I may say, well, you know, no, I ain't going to do I'll give you a perfect example, man had these two bras man well i knew one of them and uh she had a friend man and so she kept telling about me man and so a friend was like well let's give him a threesome see if he with that so i was like okay all right, okay cool so i i didn't really know if i wanted to do it or not because you know for me doing something like that it had to be two new bras for me i don't want because here's the thing the bra that i already know i'm gonna totally neglect her and just focus on the other bra because she knew <laughs> you don't want to do that to yourself so you know so i, I had a conversation with a man um i told him well, i would we'll, we'll just create us a group text and shit so they created this group text man and the first time i had a conversation with the bro man she was you know what what you know what you gonna do this can't do this i ain't never do that blah 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 i said hey shout slow down I don't know what kind of man you used to. Actually, I do, Jay, by the way you're talking. But you're dealing with a real man right here. The purpose of this is for you and your friend to serve me, not for me to serve you. I, I thought she may have told you that. Well, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. About, you know, well, you don't know who you're dealing with. I just told her, I say, look, I mean, you need to explain to her who she's dealing with because whatever going on, I mean, if she ain't aiming to please, then she's going to go ahead and leave. So I'm going to give you a chance to talk to her. And then, no, you know what? Just fuck it. I don't even want to do it. Man, I couldn't even get out. I couldn't even get out the joint, man, for two minutes. For the same chick who was talking. Well, okay, well, you know, I just didn't know. I ain't used to men talking to me like that, and, and, and blah blah blah. She got in her feelings about it first, cause that's what women do, and she felt like she was being disrespected. But she thought about it and said, "Well, you know," cause I, I, I literally said to her, "I said, so did I use profanity? Did I call you out your name? Did I do anything besides tell you what I'm gonna have and what I'm not gonna have?" She said, "Well, yeah, you're right. I just..." I just ain't used to that, but I, I'm, I'm going to do better. From that point on, man, she's been calling me daddy. Now, you know, whether those things took place or not, I ain't going to discuss that on this one because we want to leave it up. But, yeah, yeah. you know, from then on, I've been daddy. And I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. The other chick who I've been knowing for a minute, man, she 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 jealous because me and the new chick, our interaction is different because she, she knew. Right. Yeah, I mean, that was dumb on her part, man. Not really, man. I'm about to start xing her ass out. Like she, she don't, she don't get included no more, man. She talks too much, man. She be, she be looking outside her head and shit, man. Like, man, this ain't gonna work, shawty. So you know, man, for me, sometimes it's okay to use women for fun. You don't have to have this amazing, you know, beneficial interaction with every single woman. Sometimes it's okay to just have fun with women, bro. Yeah, I do that. I mean, sometimes I just want to have fun with women. No strings attached. No, let's be in a relationship or none of that. And here's the thing. If you have a woman contributing to your life, that's the groundwork of building a relationship. You can't just be having fun with random women. I didn't say random women, Please. but having fun with women and then have them contributing to your life and think that, that they're not going to have an expectation of you giving them the reward from that of being 
in your life in a more serious way. And that's what men don't understand. You ever seen a pimp get money out of a woman and then kick her out of his crib and say, you know, you don't live here no more, but go give me some more money. No, you ain't never seen that because he know he got to have an understanding with the women that they his women. He don't say, you know, these my scallywag bras and all that. No, when you see him, he out with all them, man, and he got them huddled up like they is women because that's what you have to do. How do you do that? By not getting in your mind overestimating the value of women. The, the, the ultimate value of a woman is what she has between her legs. How many men, how many of you are going to deal with a woman who ain't got, who, who I'm talking about, they got a sold up. You can't do nothing with them. Man. Gas Giants. He said, this is what I call grown man talk. What up, Afian? Yeah, that's what's up. In, 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 in real talk too, BOA, I, I mean, I tell you, but I'm going to just say it publicly, like, like BOA has been an excellent friend and brother to me. Like, when we we talk, like he be teaching me stuff. Like he, he he we it's like we be having like YouTube consultations and shit like that. And he be telling me stuff that he ain't necessarily got to. And 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 but then the thing is, it's value for value because I don't be trying to hold back from you when you ask me shit either. You know what I'm right, saying? We have right. real conversations motivate each other. What you told me the other day, like you you can't compare yourself to this person or that person, man. Everybody got a different journey, man. You just got to focus on what you're doing. And and just realize, like, you know, you got you got you got twenty four thousand. That's good. That's a lot of people. You can't be thinking, man. I'm supposed to have fifty. I got hella game. Like, it don't work like that. Because the guys who are on top don't got hella game. Yeah. And then the thing is, man, when you were at one thousand, man, you couldn't guarantee you're gonna make it to twenty four. Mm -hmm. You couldn't guarantee it because there are guys who were on one thousand then and still on one thousand. Oh, that you is. You know funny. what I'm saying? Like, it, it's real, man. Man, this is just. You know, what I had to realize, man, is that, and I got this from, if, if you guys got a channel, man, subscribe to the channel called Think Media TV. If you mm -hmm. haven't subscribed to it, subscribe to that one. And Nick Nimmin, if you, if, you, if you got a new channel and you really want to understand how the algorithm works and how things work, man, and how, you know, and how, how your content should be geared, then, mm -hmm. man, subscribe to those channels, man, if you, if you got a new channel. And, uh, man, they told me one thing that always stuck with me. They're the ones who told me, man, never create content that your subscribers didn't subscribe for it don't matter what nobody else want to hear because the algorithm functions on how your subscribers respond to your content if your mm -hmm. subscribers respond well, respond well then they start recommending the content if your subscribers don't respond well they don't recommend the content so if i put one up and my subscriber don't respond well Patreon. I, I take it right down immediately it's got a certain amount of time to hit a certain amount of numbers and it's coming down homie you know uh -huh. what i'm saying and I know I see other guys don't really do that, but me, that's how I do it. Because, you know, the bottom line is, man, you just got to do your own thing. Because I'm going to be honest with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, by, by no means am I at a point of satisfaction. But, man, I didn't ever think, man, I'd be this successful with this shit, man. Yeah. I just came on to, 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 to give up information that I knew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never thought that, man. So, for me, every day waking up, man, it's, the, it's a blessing to me, man. And, and I, I just, for me, I know that you do this. I know that and even the chick who was in here, Danica does this. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a couple of guys in here now with channels. You know what I'm saying? Young manhood channel. One of my one of my mods, man, he's got a channel. And guys are just grinding this. And they're doing daily content or weekly content, bi-weekly content. Man, boy, you got to have some dedication to do something this regularly and just do it with no idea of when it's going to get to where you want it to get. Praise man, boy, now man, to my soul now. man, boy, that's pure dedication, man. And so when I see how I'm dedicated to this, when I see how you dedicated to this, when I see how the other guys are dedicated to this, you know what I do, man? A bro at the very least got to be as dedicated to me as I am to fucking this. At least. Well, let me super chat this whole shit right now. I got to pull on YouTube up. Goddamn. Because, because, listen, bro, I'm an immediate payoff for a woman. I may not be an immediate financial payoff, but being in my life, being in my world, coming from outside of my world to inside, I'm an immediate payoff for a bra. No, how am I going to demand less dedication from her than I got for this? It took years for this shit to pay me off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Years. Years of dedication. Yeah. And, and, and then, you know, we we're a part of each other's journey. You remember, you, you, even though 24 ain't the super, but you've been fucking with my shit since 800. Bro, 24 is a major fucking number. What I'm telling you is you are you have a higher number than damn near almost all YouTubers. There's a, a, a conglomerate of YouTubers that get past 20,000. 
Everybody else is stuck below that. Mm-hmm. That's just how that shit goes. Everybody else is stuck below that. Their guys been doing content for 10 years, stuck below 20,000. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is a grind, man. And any anytime you add any, when you hit another 10,000, when you go from zero to 10 to 20 to 30, man, you got to count every one of those 10,000 as a major journey because 10,000 people is a lot of people to say, I support him in a way where I want to keep supporting him. That shit is major, man. Man, that is facts. And I've been on your shit since 3,000. So whatever you got, I, I've been around for the whole damn thing, man. The it's, whole joint, man. The whole it's joint. crazy, man. Like, you think about it. Like, even guys be saying, you, you want Super Chats? Hell yeah, I gave up my rotation for this. That's why I be saying it's easy, Mo. I, 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 dude, when I started YouTube, all I was doing was touching bitches and, and making videos from my car. Touch bitches and then vlog about it in the car. <laughs> now, when you call me, I don't be on no dates. I'll be right here at the house. I'm at work. I'm doing some uh, editing the video, setting some. That's all I do now. I don't be doing shit all like that no more. Cause I, cause I, cause I, uh oh. He'll come back. Cause I, cause I'm serious about this. I can. Is this my shit? Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't be in the streets no more. I don't be at the clubs. I don't be at the bar on Friday night. I be I be on YouTube trying to get free advice and shit, man. Like, but the thing is, you know why? Is be and and everybody not going to agree with me. So y'all can say, oh, whatever, or you you cap in like y'all used to say. You're not. You can call it cap all you want to. I'm being a hundred percent transparent with you guys. Seriously, this is on this on my father grave. My father, y'all know who watched me. My father passed away when I was three. YouTube was fun for me at first. But once I got to the point when I start touching people's lives and changing people's lives on a mass scale all the time, not like I not like I just, you know, that 50 consultations and two good ones. You know what I'm saying? Like all of them good. All of them is life changing. It start being better than pussy, bro. For me, like, I, you know, like I, I, if, if I have sex with a new chick, the coochie is cool. And then, oh, I'm done. And then I, it ain't cool no more. But with this, you get this cat over here telling you this. This guy, you helped you help me out of divorce. You helped me out of depression. You gave me some game type. I was a simp. Now I'm listening to your shit. Now I'm doing this. When you constantly get that, it's better than it's better than cheeks to me. I'd rather have a, a hundred people in a week tell me that I changed their life than me getting some fucking sex. You know what I'm saying? And then because it, it's good for a minute, but once that oh. But see, with the with the validation and just the helping, it don't end. It continues as long as I keep doing it. It keeps coming, and is and when it keeps coming, and I keep doing it, it keeps growing. Right. You know, and and right. and I've and I've put my all into women and chasing women and having rotations and all of that stuff. But this is the first time I really would say once quarantine started because I stopped. I start being at the house because I work from home now. Is um. When I said, you know what, I can change my life with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, in we talked maybe maybe like a week ago, and I was saying, um, private me was talking is like, shit. We, everybody's always focused on uh, subscribers and shit like that. You can you can level up by network because the people you meet, these avatars and shit, you don't know who behind there. Yeah, you know Real what talk. I'm saying. Real talk. Yeah. Shout out hit- to Jap in the house. Jab, what's good, homie? What's good? What's good, brother? Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. And, so, and, when, and when you think about it like this, man, and I tell people this all the time, if you got fucking 10 million subscribers, but you ain't got a thousand people who will spend $10 with you every month, what's the purpose of having the subs? This shit is not about subs. It's about supporters. And, and here's the thing. You can't determine who's going to be a supporter. The people you help the most, who find the most value in what you give and the information you give, those are going to be your supporters. My supporters matter. Yeah, I may have a video that does a bunch of views, but even after that, my supporters matter. My next piece of content is not going to be trying to figure out what all those extra people wanted. I'm trying to give my supporters what they want. So when I drop this, this mixtape, June 19th, homie, June 10th, mixtape, Alpha Music, Volume 1. Y'all be looking for it. So when you, when I drop that, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
with all these people, if only a thousand people support it. When I come back behind there and drop the project, Pimp Motivation 101, if a thousand people support it, cool, I'm on to the next project. Whatever happens after that thousand, cool. But if a thousand people support whatever I do, I'm on to the next project. And I just let those projects do residuals. Right. So my goal is to just have a thousand people support everything I drop. If you got a thousand people who will pay you $10 and that's and you drop something once a, once a week and you get those thousand people to spend $10, they're all only spending $40. Let's say you rotate through some people and you get, you know, roughly, you know, those thousand people that spend, you know, maybe $20 a piece. Man, you looking at it, bro. That's 10,000 every week. Only with a thousand people supporting. And we give enough of our time, energy, and effort to this thing to have a thousand people support. We do that. And, and you know, and that's the main thing, man. So, you know, I feel like, man, you know, if you listen and you gain some from me, Fee, any content creator you listen to, man, then the same way, you know, here's the thing. Michael Jordan ain't never gave you nothing. <laughs> you only live in the city where he played in. You know what I'm saying? If you don't live in Washington, if you don't live in Washington, D.C., or you don't live in uh, Charlotte, or you don't live in Chicago, he ain't never played for a team that you that you lived in the city. So, but you buy Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Fendi ain't never gave you netting, you, but you buy Fendi. You know, you buy all of these things, so why not take a little portion of what you have and invest in the quality that's improving your life a little bit? Thanks, bro. So, you know, and that's my thing, man. I just feel like, man, you know, I feel like people don't really appreciate the time and energy that we put into doing this and really the only benefit we get for the longest time is just helping people. Thanks. And yeah. even now, yeah. even now, the, the majority of, 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 of the benefit that I get now is just from helping people, man. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a motivating, like, like player for life. Shout out to player for life uh, for the super chat for being an excellent motivator. I was watching his shit before I was making videos. Before I was making videos, I was watching his stuff. And then me and him talked about getting his book. He got, he a published author now. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's real type, that's real type stuff. Like I, I, I tell, I tell my partners and I tell chicks too. Like matter of fact, I went out to eat with my cousin last night and he was asking me about bras and I told him like, bro, you don't write nine books in a year chasing ass, my nigga. You think you think you, how you think I did it? Am I a superhero? You mean tell, famous cat saying came out with nine books in one year. I had to make a sacrifice. But guess what? Once the book done is finished. Hard work. You know what I'm saying? It's done. You know, so I had to make a sacrifice. You know, you could do shit here and there. But like I say, it's there is no I, I am not here. I mean, I am not out here sourcing chicks, bro. I'm just not doing it, bro. I don't have the time. And then I, I don't want no girlfriend or nothing like that. No way. So what's the point? Of it? <laughs> right, 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 right. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Y'all might see some changes with me, man. You know what I'm saying? I I, I got a little young tender, man. I'm, I might start showing up. but She might start showing up on some content a little bit, man. And, uh, you know, it's possible that that's coming down the pike, man. It may. You know what I'm saying? We just had to see, man. I just got to figure out an angle on it. If I can't figure out a player angle on it, then it won't happen. But for me, man, you know, I'm just, um, you know, I can't be the type of man that says, okay, these are the qualities that matter to me and the woman. These qualities, these qualities, whatever those qualities are for me, whatever they are for you. And then you come in contact with that woman who has those qualities. And then you're like, well... I don't know what she might do this or, 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 or she might do that. And you, damn, bro, you mean all this time you've been talking like that? You've been talking like you was a player, but you've been doing that shit because you were scared? <laughs> now here go the woman, you talking about with all the qualities you want? Now you talking about why, now you done made up a reason why you ain't going to do it. Come on, bro. You scared, man. Ah, oh, man, bro, I've been listening to you all this time, man. And your ass been scared this whole time. Talking all this tough talk. How you going to dominate the woman? The woman that bring everything you get her, man. You're going to put in position, blah, blah. Now here she is, man, and you running scared. Nah, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I look at everything in my life, man, that comes my way the way I want it as a blessing from God, man. Because if, if, if that's not the case, everybody will have what they want. So, you know, I'm looking at it, man, and looking into it, man. So y'all just stop. Y'all give me a little time, man. Work with me, man. I might surprise y'all with something, man. Oh, shout out to even for the super chat. A little investment for the value I received. I like that word. I love that word. Thank you, brother. Value, not that was good. 
Because yeah. that's what we feel like when we do it, but sometimes y'all don't value it. Y'all only value the shit that can apply to your life the day that we say it. Like some of the stuff that we talking today, you might not even have a situation that applies for it right now. But right. six months down the line, two years down the line, you're going to be like, there it is. So I appreciate that because because guess what? We're both alpha men, but this is also like positive energy, too. Did y- y'all miss that part? Huh? Because y'all used to niggas arguing and, and, and whipping out their shit and who the baddest and all that. This is camaraderie right here. And that's, and y'all don't see that too much. Not on YouTube. Let me say not on black YouTube. I can't speak for all of YouTube, but you know what I'm saying? So many name dropping. Oh, he said this. Let me show you his screenshots. Like, bro, we don't do that type of shit. We don't do that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real talk, man. That's real talk. So, you know, I just feel like this, man. Before we're any of this, we're men. And so if I can, you know, show you guys a way, because I talk a lot of things about dominating women. I mean, I haven't showed y'all that. I know y'all want to see it. I know y'all going to look at it and be like, man, you know what? Yeah, this straight up, man. Because because here's the thing. We always talk about show your work. Show your work just applies to what you talk about. What do you talk about? Show it. If you do it, show it. If you can do it, show it. If you're in a situation where you can show it, show it. Not because you have to. But because as a man who talks about this all the time, if you can show it, you should show it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I just want to uh, I, I may, you know, take a little time and just show y'all how I get down, man, how I rock out. Let y'all hear what feminine energy sounds like in the presence of true masculine energy. Because, you know, let's be honest, you know, you you see you see a man and a woman on, on, on the video now, man, you can. It ain't going to be the way it's supposed to be. It ain't going to be the way God intended for the most part, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to, you're going to be wondering, man, what the hell is going on with this dude, man? So, you know, I just say, man, let's all, man, let's live our lives, homie, and just, you know, and be the best version of ourselves, man, and enjoy this little time, man, we got in this hell hole called Earth, man. Pick our spots and, and, and just live our best life, man. Cool, cool. Shout out to Tisha. T- just like Tisha. Tisha support me. So I send her all of my books in the mail. She ain't have to cause she's cause she's at my shows every morning. I appreciate that. Cause it if she it, it's value for her. Like this is the real stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you. Facts. Iceberg said you gotta prepare for a situation you ain't experienced yet. I wanna say one thing. You good for like 10 more minutes? Yeah, yeah, we good, man. Cool. Um I wanna say this because I had this problem. Me and shout out to A V. We talked about this shit too. Like I don't want to get too deep or emotional or nothing. I ain't going to go there with it, but I will say this. You guys be open to growing with us. Like, just like your kids, you know how your kids, they're crawling first and they grow. We're growing live on YouTube with you guys. Like the shit that I was into three years ago, I'm not into no more. You know what I mean? Like embrace the evolution. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, oh, be away, rapping, I'm out of here. Like, not that somebody said that, but you know what I mean? Like, people, as soon as you, you know, it's like, man, we, we are people, too. We're people, too. Y'all change, but we just don't see y'all change because y'all in the chat. But y'all see our change, you know. I, I didn't been on here with a big beard. I didn't been on here skinny. I didn't been on here fat. Like, whatever. Like, I change and evolve because we're doing this shit. So, things different. Like, I remember I, I used to want to be a principal. That shit, is, I don't want to be no fucking principal. I want to do this. <laughs> I want to do this. I want to go, I want to go and, and, and be at the Paramount and, 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 and motivate people with the microphone and be saying all this shit. And that y'all in the crowd, I'm like, yeah, and I'm going to do all of this. And y'all get excited. And then afterwards, and I, then I give y'all my books and sign. I want to do this. I don't want to be yelling at no kids no more and, and fucking, uh, checking teachers and shit, man. Fuck that. Hell no, nah, bro. I want to do this. I want to write books. I want to teach y'all. And I want to personal speak. That's what I want to do. Now, when I started this shit, I just wanted to fuck hoes and that's it. I evolved. You know? The Dr. B.O.A.'s evolved. We all evolved. So just embrace that because 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 sometimes when you guys embrace it, it makes us give you more and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because because certain things I'd be like, man, fuck that shit. Then you know what I mean? Because I've had my moments where I, I remember I, I get pissed off and say up, you know, 
I, I think if you, you you told me that too, because I was like, man, fuck them niggas. I'm going all oh, Patreon. I ain't got time for this fucking shit. All these people talking this shit. I'm gonna just make Patreon videos. Like, now nah, you gotta grow. Like, no, but you know, we all have our moments. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, with me, man, you know, when, when it comes to like when it comes to music thing, man, I've been using that shit for therapy my whole life, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like from the time I was seven. You know what I'm saying? I've been writing music, recording music, man, since you know, since since young. You know what I'm saying? Recording on a little karaoke machine. Then got a little, you know, got a little recorder. Keep talking. Let and, me show you something. Watch yeah, this. Yeah. So, just so y'all won't think it's yeah. cap. The, the yeah. new word y'all say. Go ahead. I hear you. So, you know, I, I've been I've been doing this, man, for, uh, you know, just. And so now it's just, you know, I feel like now is a good time, man, for me to just share it with my core audience, with my supporters. So it's not something I'm doing to really make any smoke, you know, on a national level. I mean, it's quality. It's quality material. So it could. But I'm not pushing it for that. It's just something I'm doing for my guys, man. So when we fill in our most alpha sales, man, we have something to ride to. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really same way I did it in the hood, man. Me and my guys were going through the same thing. We were hustling, getting money, dealing with haters. You know what I'm saying? Have, having to, you know, having to do some unscrupulous things sometime. You know, having to get out there, man, and, and smoke it up sometime. And I just used to make, you know, content for us to deal with that. Just what having the content was music. But now, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to these guys now, man. So, you know, with me. I don't really care what anyone says except my supporters. My core, my core guys, man, that's it. I don't care about nobody else. Like yeah. you, you got so many people that hate, man. You got small content creators, bigger content creators, a whole bunch of people hate, man. But man, if I respond to a hater, man, then I feel like a beta male simp mangina, man. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. You didn't notice. I had came up with this idea mm, maybe four or five months ago. Cause I, cause I, cause I, all the beats that I usually play during my songs be people that be sent to me. So I'm like, and I don't know why y'all don't get it. Like I, I be telling cats, I got bars. You got bars, I, nigga. I rhyme all the when I talk all the fucking time, and I, I know hell of shit. Why wouldn't I have didn't have bars? But look, this is my, this is my shoebox full of bars. I've been writing raps for hell long. This is hell of shit, bro. I got books of shits. So this is a real thing. You know what I'm saying? This is these all raps and shit that I wrote. Y'all don't know about it because it ain't never like came up in conversation. But you know, we both, me and Doctor Bay away, we we are alpha cats, but we're gang spitters, bro. We're gang spitters, so it's it's different. You can be a dating coach, a, a gaining coach, and a gang spitter is not the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Because game spitters give you game that you can use for everything. It's not about. Now, if you if you have if you if you pick up a boss mindset and you happen to increase your women stable, so be it. But this shit that we dropping today is actual wisdom. You can use it for career. You can use it for dealing with your mama. Whatever, it's right. mindset shit. Pimping is pimp, pimping is 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 a mindset thing. It's not just it's not just fucking oh go get the money. Like no, bro. Like in, in this book that I showed you. This is my book. Now look, this look at the first chapter. The first chapter, what it say? The first chapter. This is how important it means to me. And this is the mindset. What it say? Put yourself first. Now it's 12 chapters. I didn't just say that's the first one because it's the most important shit to me. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like no game or no slick shit I want to say on YouTube. Go be, be first. Like, no, this is the real, this is the real shit. This is how I really feel. And I feel like you should really feel like that too. And if you don't, you missing out on a part of your life. You know, you missing out on a part of your life. Shout out to Dominic. BOA will be back in a second. <clears throat> so how y'all feel about these streams? This stream today, y'all make sure y'all like the video. If y'all came in late, make sure you like the video. <laughs> you get it out. I was thinking about next year. Oh, you know what? Let me let me tell y'all why I thought that. Let me tell y'all why I thought that. Because um, uh oh, oh shit, I went oof, went big on my ass. Let me tell y'all why. Boa, I'll come back in a second. Let me tell you why I thought that. Cause I was out, I was out in Atlanta, right? And I was in Atlanta, and I was out, and I was thinking to myself. You know, okay, I got about fifteen thousand followers on Instagram. If I had, if I had a hundred thousand followers on Instagram and a fucking, 
album out, I can come host this shit. That's what I was thinking. Like I could be the host of this shit. If I if I had the following, there you go. I don't know if you heard what I said, but that's where I got nah, the idea. Man, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened, man. Nigga, oh. I'm over here tripping, man. I had to link it up to my. Uh, had to, I, I just used my Wi-Fi hotspot on my iPhone, man. It's good. What, what what I was saying when you had left was where I got the idea for like uh, the album and shit is because when I was in Atlanta, I was thinking, okay, my followers on Instagram is cool, but let's if I had a hundred thousand followers and an album out, I could literally go up on this stage and host the fucking party. And get paid like twenty bands to play my own shit, and I, I, and I, I said, you know what? Fuck that shit. I got like sixty beats. <laughs> yeah, fire yeah. ones too. So let me just go ahead and put some bar. So that's where the idea. It's not. So I just want to say it's not because I want to be the next Snoop Dogg or I'm trying to be famous. I just doing YouTube. I see. I understand what social status is. I didn't understand what it was because I never had it. I've been popular. But popular and social status is two different things. And now yeah. I understand that. You got social status, I could be like, oh, Afi Kingdom in the house. Yeah, give me this fucking mic. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Just come in here and start dropping. And that's and it's I I, I want to make as many lanes for myself as possible. That's why I got a food channel. I like food. Well, guess what? Hella other motherfuckers. I mean, my, my food channel's at five thousand subs. So it's 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 people who watch that that don't even know what this is. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. different lanes for me to be successful. I'm not going to depend on one thing. It, yeah. Abundance mindset is a real thing. Abundance mindset ain't just some slick shit to say like, oh, I'm a player. I got an abundance mindset. Like, no, abundance mindset is really what it is. You know, shout out to uh, Kennedy for a super chat. He said, I appreciate the wisdom from both of you. I appreciate you being here, man. <clears throat> B.O.A., you got some stuff you want to say, brother? Oh, you froze again? Oh, shit. Hold on, let me see. We at the two mark. We at the two hour mark. So when BOA comes back, we'll just say our last words. I mean, hey, I'm here, man. I'm here, man. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, man. Wi-Fi tripping, man. I think the business is about to close right here, man. You know, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a business sector, man. So, you know, everybody, you know, they're trying to shut down for the day, man. So they it, it normally have a little overload around this time of day, man. So in, in this in this complex, this business, business complex. So here's the thing, man. If y'all don't know about my King Ray Ray channel, man, go ahead, subscribe to the King Ray Ray channel. We really get deep about building yourself into, you know, in, in, internally, you know what I'm saying, into the best version of yourself. Because before you become the most alpha version of yourself, you have to realize who you are and build your true self. Because you can't become an alpha, alpha version of me or Ifi. You had to become the most alpha version of yourself. So, uh, you know, as far as what Fee was saying, man, listen, man, you got to get it however you can. Content creation don't just mean YouTube. Anything you create that's that's artistic and takes some creativity is content. And you now we're not limited to what we can create with content. And, you know, just hopefully, man, the people who support on one form, man, we can marry them all together and have and cross and have our supporters cross support on the different platforms, man. Because I honestly, man, the bottom line is, man, we do this for the people, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, if we did it for the money, we'd stopped a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? We do this for the people, man. And you know, as long as y'all remember that, because we can't forget it. You know what I'm saying? We don't remember it because even because even when you get to the point where you're making a, a whole load of money, man, you still you never forget the time you grinded up to that point. You know what I'm saying? You never forget the grind, man. So. You know, as long as we and you guys have that mutual understanding that, you know, we do this for y'all support and y'all support keeps us doing it, mm -hmm. then everything going to be gravy, man. And, you know, and, we, and we'll keep doing it because without y'all support, man, we wouldn't do it, brothers, to be honest with you. That's facts. And shout out for Mr. O for respecting. What's up to the two heavyweights? I love it, bro. Because because y'all got to realize what y'all, y'all ain't, y'all ain't just listening to the two, two, two cats with games. Y'all listening to two superior minds. It's different. A lot of a lot of guys, a lot of guys out here. There's fucking PUA guys that's out here gets getting a, a, a whole lot of cheeks. But I, I don't, I don't, I, I look down on that type of shit because they be, you know, whatever it takes, yeah. I, whatever it, you know, no, it's it's it's. So I I appreciate that. Yeah, you got to catch this playback, and y'all make sure, and 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 then, and then still too, make sure if y'all have it, make sure y'all like this video. And make sure you share this video with people that you know. So each person in here, put a one. Y'all share it with 10 people. And I got to congratulate myself. I, I, I told you, B.O., I'm telling y'all, I, I got the million views now. So guess what? You haters, you can suck it because you ain't got a million. It, 
you got to match the million views i got to be a hater on me you got to right if you got 904 you got to get them you got to match me for a conversation you can't be you can't be out here thinking you got game and and got like uh 3, views on your channel and think that we a match don't work i work hard for my shit. i don't have viral videos my biggest video seventeen thousand. i work hard i do doing shit, panels everything man so you know make sure uh you like it and share it and i'm gonna put the original one down there and just one last thing man you guys man believe in your dreams because we live in our dreams man real talk yeah, man. Real and for talk. you cats who, 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 who getting on me on instagram for you assholes actually the two new books is out get the books it's uh uh manifest and it is manifest and it see that's the positive shit. You see when i came on youtube i wouldn't make no book called manifest bro <laughs> and, and then we got the key to our crown now the reason why i ain't pumped it is because the paperback ain't ready so I, I the paperback ain't ready so once the paperback get ready then i'll say it for real but if y'all downloaders y'all can go download the shit right now keys to your crown and manifest Dr. BOA, I appreciate your time. It's another classic. Yeah, uh, no doubt, bro. No doubt. No doubt. You know, you know it's gonna be a blast, man. You know it's gonna be a blast off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh oh shit. I didn't even mean I didn't even mean to match the title of my see, that's what I'm saying. That's why you haters can't say shit. Because you haters can't get on here and happen to, and just happen to match the title of your new book with your clothes and your outfit. That's a level. <laughs> it was no accident, BOA. I promise I didn't even plan it. Right, that's right. Level. So yeah, I'm doing free game Fridays tomorrow morning. I'm doing it tomorrow morning. I'm back. I'm back on schedule with the mornings and stuff. I've been having different shows at different times to accommodate different people and stuff. But I'll be on tomorrow with um, Lawrence D. Adams. Uh, free game Fridays. Y'all bring y'all questions. Uh, like I say, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to Doctor B. Away and follow him on Instagram too, because you want to get his Instagram up, up, up and shit too, because he got some stuff that uh, he want to incorporate that it's a secret for y'all. Y'all got to go. Follow him on there to see what it is that he's talking about. And uh, word, as word, for me, word. hit that Amazon.com and type in Afi Kingdom and get all the fucking shits. All of them. Don't ask me which one you should buy. Just buy them all. Shit. It ain't going to cost you but $50. You, you know, buy all them fucking shits. Church. <laughs> Church. Anyways, a pleasure. Like the video. Share the video. If you're a content creator, share it on your community. And let's get the real boss shit out. Because I don't like extra level pussy chasing. It makes me squirm. I don't like it. And y'all don't like it either. It's about the pimp mindset and running your life and living life on your fucking terms. Real talk. Peace, y'all.